Let me. All right. Car is your car, man. You got it, man. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. We here. Oh, we shit. Here. Tell all your friends. Tell all your enemies. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Everybody to, to, to strap in for this game. You feel what we I'm in saying? The, we in the building. The game is going to be heavy today. Woo, heavy. It's going to be heavy. Oh, he got the passport ready. So we got the passport. Oh, shit, Miles, I need to go get my passport. Oh, shit. Here you go. Here you oh, shit. oh, shit, Miles. Oh, shit. Wait, Miles, you must be going to Planet Man, though. You must be going to Planet Man. <laughs> we about to get it in, people. Oh my goodness. So today, guys, real quick, you know, we we gotta we gotta you know talk about um a little bit about the video that, that O'Shea put out the other day, right? And he was, you know, talking about there's this, I guess, sort of rivalry between passport bros and dudes who got game and shit like that. And my thing is this first of all, I want to say there is no rivalry. There is none. <laughs> there's, there's, there's no rivalry. I got stamps in my passport, nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There is no rivalry. Uh, what you, what you got to understand is this. The only reason that, I, and I'll talk for myself for a second, the only reason I'm, I'm even speaking on this type of stuff is because I need to make sure when people are talking about the game, they understand what they're talking about when they're talking about the game. You understand? So somebody was like, Locario, why are you dick policing? I'm like, no, I'm not dick policing. I'm game policing. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, <laughs> so you got to understand that. We're game policing. We're not dick policing. So when yeah. you're talking about the game, I'm not, I don't, I don't, I'm not with that. When, when cats talking about the game, but they don't know what they're actually talking about. You see what I'm saying? But what's, yeah. what's your thoughts on that real quick? Well, yeah. Me? Yeah. Th th you know, there's a, the reason I'm on this is not to dick police at all. Mm -hmm. uh, but my thing is, is that it, as older men, mm -hmm. it is our job as a community to save these young boys out here because the war on young men is not by women. Mm -hmm. It's by these guys over here trying to tell these young boys that they ain't good enough. They're not good enough right. to get a woman in the fucking States. And you've got to get a travel agent. You've got to go get your Uber. You've got to go get a fucking ticket. You've got to wait in line for a long period of time. You got to board a fucking plane. You got to fly several hours to land only to fuck a bunch of prostitutes that don't even want you. And then it's going the prostitutes going to fuck somebody else. So that's why I'm here to let these guys know that we're here to save you versus <laughs> trying to fuck you over miles right. <laughs> <laughs> uh man um all right so what i want to say is i want guys to know that when i when i look into this camera right, <laughs> right and, and, <laughs> and i call you a bitch ass nigga <laughs> when i look into this camera and i tell you that you are no game having Prostitute fucking. <laughs> Running away from your problems. Weak ass. Punk ass. Fuck ass. Whack ass nigga with no game. Right. I want you to understand that it's because I love you. <laughs> You understand? It's no, and 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 I'm so sincere when I say this. Like a lot of this shit, what you guys don't understand is <clears throat> we talk this shit because we give a, we give a fuck about our fellow man. Why? Because you, you, you see, and not because I like I give a fuck about you as an individual because I don't know you, right? right. But, what, but what I give a fuck about is the brand of masculinity, right? Exactly. What, what I give a fuck about is the brand of man in general. Mm -hmm. You understand? So it's like this. And, you know, and, and I said this on the bad boy show a little bit earlier. So y'all could go check us out. Patreon.com forward slash Mr. Lucario. Always marketing. So <laughs> it's like you're trying to because I remember this. I My, my nephew can't have spent some time with me and my, and my sister told me he was like, he's having trouble tying his shoe. Mm -hmm. So try to try to get some of that practice in while he's there with you. Right. You understand? And I, and I and I saw the frustration in my in my nephew's face when I was trying to show him, you know, how to tighten the shoe and do the knot and this, that and the third. Right. And we didn't we didn't we didn't come to success when he was with me. 
However, I did talk to his mother and I and I explained to her that I that in during practice, I was able to find out more about the way he understands things. And so I explained those things to her. And when he got back home, a mm. couple of days later, he, he knew how to tie his shoe because the information I gave her helped her to explain to him what he needed to do to learn how to tie his shoe. Right. All right. Now. Matter of fact, I owe my oh my nephew a pair of shoes. Anyway, what I'm trying to explain is <clears throat> what you guys are doing with this passport shit is you're trying to learn how to tie your shoe, mm-hmm. and you're giving up and saying, you know what, I'm gonna just wear Velcro sneakers for the rest of my life. Right. <laughs> right. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. That is so fucking beautiful. You tap on that one, man. That is beautiful. We are we are your loving uncles over here, and we're trying to teach you how to tie your fucking shoe. Exactly. And you're crying at the frustration that you don't understand how to make a knot. Mm. And you're saying to yourself, well, well, I'm just gonna wear Velcro shoes and loafers for the rest of my life. Right. And 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 I'm your I'm your uncle and and I love you. And I'm like, bro, at some point you're gonna need to learn how to tie your shoes, bro. Exactly. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You're going to need to understand this game. You're going to need to understand how to how to how to be able to conduct yourself with any pair of shoes you want to put on. Mm-hmm. Not just the shoes from South America, not just the shoes from Thailand, not just the shoes from Brazil. Brazil. You understand? I want you to be able to wear Jordans, nigga, from America. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> huh? I want you to be able to wear LeBrons. I want you to be able to wear it. Air Force One's got the longest fucking laces in sneakers ever. Mm-hmm. If you oh, Air Force Ones can fucking stretch from one wall to the next in my fucking apartment. That's how long the laces are in Air Force Ones. I need you to know how to tie a pair of Air Force Ones. American, American, they're not American made. They're actually made in Thailand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bad example. Man. They were, me- but they were designed in America, though. Right? You understand? <laughs> they were designed here. They are American sneakers, and I need you to know how to tie them. Mm-hmm. My, my, you know, my nephew. I don't want you to be weak out here. I want you to understand game. I want you to be able to have the confidence and freedom to wear any pair of shoes you fucking want, bro. Right. You understand? That's what it's really about to me, man. Okay. That's a fact. That's a fact. So yeah, so we listen, we got we got some clips to show y'all. We got some also in in the video that O'Shea did. We took screenshots of screenshots. Some of the comments. All that shit. All that shit. Um, shout, out fucking... to Oshay, shout out to O'Shea. Real yeah. quick. Shout out to O'Shea. Yeah, we, we, yeah, because he was he was neutral. He was yeah. neutral. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But other than that, he's a he's a hard working nigga on his YouTube shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, much love to O'Shea. Yeah, he's yeah, he's a hard working motherfucker. Yeah. Right. And, he, and and you know, he was neutral on that shit. He saw both ways of it, but we're, we're just unfortunately as men we're just one way you know mm-hmm. we just i mean show me uh a guy back in the 1800s or 1700s said oh damn i can't get lily over there in the pasture so let me just get on a boat and <laughs> roll my ass back to africa or some other country to mess with some other woman i mean that's <laughs> fucking crazy but i'm sorry the car go ahead man <laughs> right. i got the video whenever you're ready whenever right, you're ready yeah. video. whenever you're ready let, let's go so all, right, so, all right let's go to the first video guys because the guy that o'shea put on a, a channel this Thumbs other up. guy was on there as well so uh we wanted to let you hear his story his truth because this is what we're trying to tell you and he's the one that admit this i didn't make this shit up he <laughs> said this. here we go countries i will give it to my critics there are women that are poor and they do have a lower poverty level of the people here. It's, it's worse in their poverty neighborhoods as opposed to here. Like they don't have food stamps in Brazil. Here we have food. They don't have section eight in Brazil. You can't pay, you ain't going nowhere. There's no food stamps. You can't eat, you ain't, I mean, you ain't got money to eat, you ain't eating shit. That's the difference. So what do women do? Well, they incorporate prostitution. <laughs> yes, so you, they have part-time prostitutes. Chicks that work a regular job, hey, might be getting them by, just paying the bills. But we all need excess money, you know, excess income. So, hey, she might want to get a drink, but if she just zero to zero, you know, every month. Look at his face. She might have to sell that pussy, I guess. So uh, that's where you have to vet these women out properly. Because you never know, you could be getting a part-time prostitute <laughs> that um, is just very... 
All, all his uh, hoes is part time. Uh, he's <laughs> slick with it, and you might not know. But hey, I tell you one thing. Here comes. I'd rather do that here. I mean, do that there than here. I'd rather get caught up in that situation there than somebody around here. This is your king. I just want that girl. This is your king. Go to her Instagram. See how. Here's how you can know. See how many foreigners are following her. Okay, if there's a lot of foreigners following her, that is a. It's not a red flag, but it's a high chance. What kind of lifestyle is she living? What does she do for work? Because there's some chicks in other countries that are bankers and sell pussy on the side. You know, so you, you just never know. But Yo, I, this nigga, here to this tell bitch is a banker true. that sells him pussy on the side. You see his face? That, that is a thing, okay? All right, so 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 this is your king. So, 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 we, so they do know that we're not calling them bitches be, and tricks for tricking their own fucking god of traveling has already admitted that all you're doing he would rather go overseas just to trick his money off on some pussy that the bitch is fucking other motherfuckers but you know what's interesting though this is what i find interesting is that I actually like I was watching some of these videos. So I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to understand. Maybe there's something I don't know, right? So I'm, I'm watching th th these live streams with these these guys that go overseas and and get these women, right? Now, these guys were saying, and I saw guys saying this, and they could come correct me if I'm wrong. I saw guys saying, "Well, we're not just going over there to fuck. We're trying to find a wife, right?" Oh. I, heard, I heard them right saying that. Remember the guy that called into our show the other day who spent the 20, 20 racks. He was taking care of a chick. So basically he was just doing, he was doing more than just fucking. Now, my question to y'all is this, how the fuck are you going to find a wife overseas? When obviously, since, you know, I, I looked at the red pill scrolls, right? The red pill scroll said that a woman who has a high body count can't be a wife. So if you, oh. if you're fucking these whores, if you're fucking these whores, oh. overseas, how the fuck are these whores going to peer bond? Oh. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? How? How's it gonna work? Wait, hold on, time out the car. Whoa, wait, did y'all hear that? All you red pill motherfuckers. <laughs> How? Hey, they got a higher body count than the bitches here. Exactly they, right. They fight in the car. Hold real quick. They think we made that caller up. Right. They exactly. think we made that caller. Really? They really think that? Yes. They yes. really. That we paid the caller to call up. They thought it was fake. Oh my God, really? Well, for, those yes! who don't, for those who don't know, if you watch the video that Oshie did and, and he took a clip of the guy called into the Real Game No Theory show. He called in and said that he spent $20,000 on a prostitute who he's in love with in the DR. Yo. And they thought that it was a fake call. Yo. They thought it was fake. How how good do they think we are that we could save <laughs> y'all at? How good do they think we are? Oh no! <laughs> oh my God! Wait 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 wait! wait, wait. Dog dog! Did you you they, they how can it, you got it? Wait wait! Did you just say that they are going to a place and fucking a bunch of women and marrying a bunch of women who have a high count of dicks? Right. Exactly. Right over these. That's what I'm saying. And breaking those dicks back. So or are you so this is the thing? I heard there were guys literally saying this on these live streams. They're like, yeah, well, I'm I'm going out there to find my wife. I'm going out there to to because you know these American women, so I'm going overseas to find a wife because they treat us better. But how the fuck are you gonna find a wife if they got the high body count, right? <laughs> either 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 the high body count don't matter, or does it does it not matter overseas? Is that what we talking about? Oh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, well I mean, when you ready, I got the Filipino woman up because I know we got some clips. So let's let's get because I know probably will call. So let's grab let's go to the Filipino woman right. because guys, I don't want y'all to listen to us. Let's listen to them. Yeah, this isn't them. No kissing. Yes. Okay. You really ought to watch Pretty Woman. You watch that video. <laughs> it's actually very similar. Okay, so no, no kissing. kissing. What, what else? Just touch. Yes. Just touch. Yes. Training okay. what, uh, How about um, I'll give you the pleasure you want. Yeah, now she's talking. She's in Thailand talking to a Thai woman that's fucking these guys. <laughs> Listen, Pretty Woman is the training seminar video for these bitches. <laughs> 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 oh man, hold on, hold on, you gotta hear this. Here we go, listen to this, you guys. But 
you don't have to kiss me. Okay, yes. no kissing. How do you advertise? Do you have a website? Do you no. go to? Do you approach them? How how does this work? People choose you. People choose you. How yeah. would they know that you do this job? Of course. Where do you hang out? I mean, how do you get customers? Uh, in that club, in that bar. Oh. Almost the women there are walker. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so there is this bar, there's yeah. this club that you guys hang around. Yes. And all women. the girls, all the women there are walkers. walkers. Yes. Okay, so this bar is known that this is the yes, that's hive of walkers. Yes. So mm -hmm. customers go there to choose girls. <laughs> the high count. A place of a walker. So you know. maybe this. this okay. So yeah. why pin it on Filipinas? Because we're more blatant about it. And we're more blatant because we're more desperate. Mm. Western women have a lot more options. So they mm. can hide their agendas longer. And sometimes they're not even aware they have them. So when a guy decides to come to the Philippines to find a mate because he believes the women here make better partners, is he targeting Filipinas? Of course not. If you have the intention of offering an honest relationship, you're just searching for the best chance of finding happiness in a stable relationship with a desirable woman. And you've decided that the Philippines is the place to look. So what's the difference between that and a woman who decides to date foreigners in order to create the safe and secure life that she wants? <coughs> Most of you guys come here looking for real relationships. <coughs> and the same thing is true for Filipinas. It's just that women find wealth attractive the way you find a nice pair of boobs attractive. <laughs> Although you're in the wrong country, if that's your thing. A woman is instinctively attracted to resources for herself and her offspring. So why wouldn't she be attracted to yours? Have you got the nerve to stand there and expect me to believe? How do Filipinas target foreigners? And it's about to get a lot more interesting. Yo, where's the link to this video? It, it... Oh. I'll send it to you, brother. Yeah, I'll bring it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's, it's, it's first. She just gave so much game just now. Oh, my God. Mm. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Let's forget the ball. green Watch card. This. One of my pet peeves is when someone says, all Filipinas just want a green card. Well, that's simply not true. In fact, in all the interviews I've done and all the women I've talked to, only about half want to leave the Philippines. So right off the bat, Claiming that all Filipinas are just trying to get to the West is an obnoxious claim that's not backed up by reality. Mm. Now, some women do want a better life in the West, especially if they have kids or plan to have them in the future. They might want to raise them in a place with the best chance for a bright future. But so what? Would you want to raise your kids in Bangladesh? Well, neither would we. So we picked the best place we can get to. If you had a daughter, you'd want her to have the most... It's all about intent. It's go. not so much what you want, but how you get it. Mm. Now, let's consider the case of a Filipina who's dating a foreigner. She decides she really likes the guy and wants to solidify the relationship. She figures if she gets pregnant, he won't leave her like a local guy might. Mm. They're using condoms. But she tries to get pregnant by poking holes in them when he's not looking. Mm. Well, that's obviously targeting. Mm. Well, it's rare, but you'll probably see people in the comments section that have experienced it. Sometimes, a married Filipina and her husband will purposely target an unsuspecting foreigner <laughs> and lure them into a relationship with the wife so they can extort money from him. Because here in the Philippines, adultery is not only illegal, but punishable with prison time. Yo! Stop, stop. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta let that shit breathe. We gotta let that no, just, we gotta breathe. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Did you just hear that shit? Oh, we ain't even done. Yes, we go ahead. Yeah. Hear that shit. Matter, matter of fact, hold on, hold on. We just gave the passport niggas more game than the passport <laughs> niggas. Fuck out of here. <laughs> Smiles, I know it's not even over yet, but yes, yeah. it's not even over. Yo, let's let's make it clear so you understand this. Basically, what she said is is that you can meet a woman in the Philippines who's already married. She's not gonna tell you she's married. Oh and god, your husband is gonna set you up 
You understand what I'm saying? So they can get money from you. Or what happens is, and I watched another video where she was talking about this. She basically said that adultery is against the law, which means that if you meet a woman in the Philippines and she lies to you and sell, tells you she's single, but she really has a man, and you get caught, you're going to jail. And that's how they'll trick them with money. They're like, oh, you better you better give me some money or I'm going to go to the police and yeah. you're going to jail. You, you, but you'll be eating sticky rice in prison for the next five years, bitch. Oh, ass. man, but there's more. All right, hold on. Here's some more, guys. Oh, man, it gets oh, no, almost done. But here Even we go. Check it out. Even if a been separated for years, right, when right. you have an intimate relationship with a married Filipina, it's still adultery. And even though a lot of foreigners don't worry about this inconvenient fact, all it takes is someone looking to make some money out of the situation. And you're in big trouble when a case is filed against you. Looking to make and some sometimes money. it's just the husband on his own that mm. might hear a rumor that his wife is dating a foreigner. Now you folks know how fast gossip travels here. So everyone in town knows exactly who's dating whom. Mm. Maybe it's some of his family. Or his friends. We're not the dating. Working to scan. All right, now wait, 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 wait. Stop here. Wait, now we're moving to Brazil. Now, hey, now we're moving to the the Mexican region. The the, the lower, the lower. What is it? The northern, the, the north, the, the lower. Um, Brazil, Chile, all that. The Mexican places. Y'all gotta listen to this. This is what he's saying. <laughs> how, they, how does this work? How's how's the their strategy? They're working one or two. They 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 spot the foreigner. And it's usually very easy to spot a foreigner way, the way they dress, foreigners dress, or just because they they're, they look like a foreigner. They're tall, blue eyes, blonde hair, whatever. And they, they approach that person. And they make it very obvious they want to go back to your place. Like they're really into you, that kind of stuff. But usually they have accomplices who are usually men, not in the bar, but on the outside of the bar. And with WhatsApp, you guys don't know what WhatsApp is. It's a messaging. Thing. Facebook owns it uh, everywhere in the world besides state, the states usually use, use it <laughs> but on WhatsApp you can actually share your location your live location Ooh. so they'll share their live location with the, their accomplices and that those accomplices those guys will follow and then when when the girls go back home they'll ask you for a drink of course you want to give them a drink you want to get them you know in the mood or whatever and while you go off to, to the kitchen or to the bathroom or to wherever when you turn your back they're gonna slip the drug into your drink Ooh. You drink that drink. It's called scopolamina, and this drug is dangerous. It's, it's very bad. Look up a Vice News did a um, a documentary on, on scopolamina. It's a very dangerous drug. It basically turns you into a zombie. You do exactly what the people want you to do. Damn. And the next day, and the next day you wake up, hopefully, and you won't remember anything that happened. Nothing. Jesus Christ. But the most dangerous thing about this drug is, is the girls giving the dose. They don't know how much to give. Oh. And I'll sometimes, no, not sometimes, many times, they overdose you. And that's when the people die. Ooh. There's been many cases here, and it's and it's going up. It's becoming almost epidemic. Damn. Of guys being found dead in their hotel room or their Airbnb. Ooh. From overdose of the scopolamine drug. <laughs> and if you're not overdose, it actually do so much harm it can make you handicapped, like mentally handicapped. Right, if well, you don't die. Last part. Watch this part. Those oh, are the day and dangerous. Part. Watch this right but here. most people will need two, and they have to be the right size. These are the big five, the life-threatening organs that are difficult to get hold of legally. There are many other body parts for sale, but either the demand is too low or the supply too high for them to be hugely popular on the black market. They are available though. If you want a small intestine, $2.5,000. Stomach, $500. Scalp, $600. Eyes, $2,000. Skin, $10 per square inch. No tattoos. Blood, $330 per pint in the US. $20 in India. Bone marrow, $23,000 per gram. Right now, gold is $42 a gram. Most body parts have to come from deceased vendors. On the black market, that can mean corrupt hospitals, funeral directors, executed prisoners, and sometimes grave robbers. A partial liver transplant can be via a living donor. Y'all see that? So, y'all well, can tell me when I grab for grab the next video. But, yeah, but it's just so much. It's just so much. What the fuck? <laughs> no. They don't know about that part of the black market. Yeah, the, 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 fucking, <laughs> organs, the fucking organs on the black market. 
Yes. But, but, but they say that this I've just looked it up. This the scoplamina drug is is also called devil's breath. I don't know if he said that. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, devil's breath. Yes, devil's breath. Listen, Yo. listen, the life you save may be your own, guys. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, yo, do you guys understand how important having game is? Like, do, are you guys seeing this now? Yo, they said that uh, they have in Colombia, the Colombian uh, police reported nearly 1,200 cases of victimized of people victimized by criminals using scoplamine and other so-called zombie drugs. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. It, says, it says victims range in high profile politicians to U.S. embassy employees to average Colombians. So they getting they getting oh, uh, bro. See, OK, look. Maybe we're maybe we're just we're just kind of pointing out all the bad sides of going <laughs> over to <laughs> You, you know we're be, we're being very biased. <laughs> what was that? What was that? What was that phrase? They, they, they we yeah, with somebody they something about something biased, something control bias or oh, uh, uh, confirmation bias. No, what? That's not it. Some shit. I don't know. Some shit. Yeah. So maybe we're just being biased, guys. Come we're on. Just, you know, we're just we're just coaches trying to get your money. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah. we're just scam artists. <laughs> but, yeah. but yo, if y'all see, look, 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 man. Y'all already seen, and this is this is from the people that are there telling you this. From yeah, they're telling you this, guys. They're like you have the Filipina chick telling you what the fuck happens. Self confirming bias. Was that it? Self confirming bias. I mean, that's probably what it is. You got the Filipino chick telling you. You got this dude literally telling you there was fucking slip shit in your shit that can be leave you handicapped or dead. So you understand what I'm saying? So again, understand this. This is not because th this is the this is sort of like the, the 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 conversation I've been hearing from a lot of these guys who do this type of stuff, right? So they make they try to make it seem as if they're going over and they're hanging out with like women who have nine to five jobs, who are teachers, lawyers, doctors, and all this other stuff, and that and they're just going to a, a spot and hollering at these women who are just these type of women who do that all day. No. They're getting with the women who are living in these situations that are impoverished. You understand what I'm saying? They need money and they're prostitutes, right? Now, also think about this. Most of these niggas can't even speak Portuguese or whatever fucking uh, uh, right. language that is in the spot. So if you're actually looking for a chick that you're really trying to be with because you don't fuck with these American women... How the fuck are you really communicating with them? Are you are you learning Portuguese? Do you do you have a good grasp of the fucking uh, language? I think not. Now, what a lot of guys say is this, and I'll say this, and we can move on to the next video. Okay. A lot of motherfuckers will say, and I've seen dudes say this. This is they be like, but the culture is different, and that in the women they they just better over there because the culture, right now. What you got to understand is this, and shout out to my dude, Mr. Limba Channel. I, I'm not even sure if he still does video. I haven't seen his videos in a while, but this is YouTuber named Mr. Limba Channel. He said that women only listen to two things, either their man or society. Now, the reason why these guys, when they go overseas and they say that these women are just more submissive and blah, 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 is because their society has trained them to be submissive right now. What happens is, is that when you guys go over there, if you have no influence over your woman, understand that she's being influenced by the society. She's not being influenced by her man, right? Which is supposed to be you. So what that means is, even though you have the girl who's quote unquote submissive, because you have no influence over the woman and society does, that means a dude who has game can swoop in and holler at your bitch and she, he will have more influence over her than you do. Because understand this, because the society that she's in has more influence over her, guess who runs the society? The man. So basically, another man has influence over your bitch regardless because you ain't got no fucking influence. You're just sitting there and taking the fucking shit situation and the shit that's going on because of that of that influence she got over the society. So either way, what happens is because you have no influence, that means that you're you're coasting off the coattails of the influence of another man. So it's basically like the same way where a fucking pimp has a hoe and you're the trick. You right. get how it works? Yes. It's the same fucking concept. 
But, but go ahead. <laughs> now, 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 wait, now for all you guys, okay, all right, you bring her home and you think you're safe, right? You you think by meeting a woman after a few months, bringing her home and you think you're safe. Well, let's listen to this. Let's think when again. Most Americans walk down the aisle and say, I do. They think that love will last forever. Hit the lottery. I'd found the woman of my dreams. This military officer, we'll call him Tony, woke up from that dream very quickly. He and his Russian bride, Natalia, dated for about a month and a half before they got married. When did you realize something was up? One week later. In the few days it took Tony to get them an apartment, he says Natalia was gone. Back with her old boyfriend. It was like something for a life. <laughs> no, that's not the worst part. This is the worst part. Watch this. Stranger. Watch like this. when she called the police to report that Tony's video game was too violent and scaring her. She tried everything she could to get me Watch. to lose control, to lose my temper. Now he thinks he knows why. An immigrant claiming protection under the Violence Against Women Act, uh -oh. or VAWA, is entitled to legal assistance, benefits, even a fast track to permanent residence in the U.S. And Tony says when he tried to tell investigators he was the victim of marriage fraud, mm -mm. it didn't matter. They would not look at it. I was really, really well, Let's listen to what they say about marriage fraud. secret that most Americans have no idea. He says in the 10 years since he retired, roughly 1,500 Americans have contacted his consulting firm, saying they're victims of marriage fraud. I've had engineers, doctors, lawyers, dentists, you name it. I've had them all say, how could I have been so stupid? <laughs> and my answer is, you weren't stupid, you were in love. Each year, roughly 450,000 U.S. citizens marry foreign spouses and petition to get them legal permanent residency. It's one of the shortest paths to citizenship. And Samson says fraud in one-on-one -on -one cases is almost never pursued. The risk is huge. Espionage, terrorism, criminal gangs. Janice Kephart served as terrorism counsel for the 9-11 Commission. She says marriage fraud doesn't just hurt the American spouse. It threatens national security. So basically what they're, <laughs> so what they're saying is, is that when they marry these women, these women can claim abuse. Mm -hmm. and of this thing that we're that they're talking about right here, they get citizenship right. off that shit. Right. And they're gone. And they get and they get to and they get to live their life. And some guys, if they're like in a alimony, like if they're in California or something, they still got to pay those women alimony. Mm -hmm. Right. Let me let me let me get on this for a second, man. I just I, I need it's a couple things I need to point out. Now you a lot of guys, like I'll put up a short talking about men should never be in love. Mm -hmm. I've seen Lucario put up a short or a reel talking about men should never be in love. Right. And then motherfuckers in the comments talking about, yo, man, what you mean? Why why men can't fall in love, bro? Isn't that you isn't that what we supposed to be doing? Isn't that Simple. and note and notice what the man said? He said, You weren't stupid, you were in love. Exactly. Hey, yes. You understand? So what did what did he really say in that little statement right there? He was explaining to the man that when a man is in love, he doesn't make the best fucking decisions. Exactly. That's why we can a man should love a woman. Mm -hmm. You should never fall in love because when you can if you can love. You understand? When you can love, you still have certain you still understand the rules of the game. Mm hmm. Because, bro, I love, bro, I love Steve. I love Lucario. I love everybody on the fucking real game, no theory panel. You understand? But at the same time, I I love them, but there's nothing that's going to make me make a weird decision mm -hmm. concerning, concerning my brothers on this YouTube shit. Right. You understand? Right. Well, last, yes. Because it, last, okay, go ahead. Because it, it allow it, loving something. No, it it, it kind of directs you where to put certain regards, mm -hmm. but you're still in you're still in your own mind because see, being in love, it means you, you understand why they call it falling in love. Right. You see, when you're falling, there's nothing to grab on to because you're in a, a wide open space and you're falling. Mm -hmm. You understand when you when you when you're when you love something. Your feet are planted. Right. 
that's the difference. That's why they call it falling in love. And that's why they say, oh, I love someone. It's like I'm choosing to show love to that person or to that thing because that's my choice. But my feet are planted because the love that I have for that person is a decision, mm-hmm. not a circumstance of me being in a state of falling with, in, 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 with no control or gravity. Do you understand? Exactly. That's the fucking difference. And that's where a man should always be. A man should always be on his own two feet. Always. Exactly. All right. We got a, yeah, one more clip and then we got the, 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 the things. But let's play this. is this a fast one. It's a fast one. Here we go. Let's protect immigrants from spousal abuse. Right, but in this heightened climate of immigration, many people say this law is being misused as a way to prevent deportation. Foreign spouses are alleging domestic violence, but many American men say it's the law that's being abused. Here's investigative reporter Liz Wagner. It's from the news, dog. This is a fake. Jess and Raj, nearly half a million immigrants marry Americans each year, <laughs> but sham marriages can also offer an open door into the U.S. Tonight, you'll hear from a Bay Area man who says a well-intentioned law stopping violence against women is being used to game the immigration system. Right, they hit that. it off and started dating long distance. They hit it off and started dating this. Within a week, his wife moved out of the bedroom and wanted access to his bank accounts. <laughs> he said he smelled a scam. It was horrible. And <laughs> 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 hold on, let me stay. I'm sorry. And, and it's just, it's just, I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> I know they don't tell these guys. They don't tell these guys this shit. They don't think it's perfect over there. You motherfuckers and shit, man. Oh my god! Wait, this, rewind that. Bring it back. Bring that shit. Back. <laughs> bring that back. I'm gonna bring that back. I'm gonna bring that back. Horrible. That was horrible. Horrible. Here we go. Moved out of the bedroom and wanted access to his bank accounts. He says he smelled a scam. It was horrible. <laughs> it was having to come to the realization that, oh no, it's not only your dream not coming true, the nightmare is beginning. He believes his Ukrainian bride used him for a green card. Marriage is one of the shortest paths to citizenship, and he thinks she knew it. Just three months after they tied the knot, Dorsanio filed for divorce. His <laughs> ex wife left the state. But he later learned she cited abuse by my U.S. citizen spouse mm. on a petition to stay in the country. Did you ever see your wife? See, and 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 what they don't understand is that the court's going to side with the foreign woman exactly. because they think the, they're going to think the American man is using uh, abuse tactics to keep her in line. Right. So you don't even have a. You, you can go to as many lawyers as you want. You're going to always lose in this, and they're going to come out on top, guys. Right. And see, and this is this is how the women are running game on you. You see what I'm saying? This is how women play losers. This is the title of the show. <laughs> Go to it, can, it can also it can also add some. You see, here's here, here's the thing. And um, even in the other story. When a woman when a woman sees that you don't know how to tie your shoes, mm-hmm. you understand? She she's in control of the shoes that you wear. Mm. That means that means she can dress you. And that's that's just a metaphor. But niggas ain't going to really get it. But what I'm saying is when they see that because the guys, they know that the, the Filipino bitch from the last video. Right. Right. She explained that a lot of guys come over here to find something because she knows she knows this. Western women have choices and agendas. Right. So you come over here because you cannot influence their choice and agendas. Exactly. The, these women know, bro. So what do they and what do they once they know that? What do they also know? They know that you're running from a problem that you can't fix. Exactly. So, yeah. So if you so if if, if, if you, I'm looking at a man that's running from a problem that he can't fix, then I know his weakness right out front. Exactly. And then I know how to manipulate that weakness. So that's why they could bring all of these crazy charges against the nigga because they already see that he's weak. So they mm-hmm. can manipulate the situation how they want to. Exactly. Right. Well, here, here's the thing. Here's the thing a lot of guys are saying. See, what people don't get is they think because she's in a foreign country, she's stupid. Right. <laughs> what they don't understand is, is that foreign women deal with losers in their country. Right. So if a loser leaves America, he doesn't turn into a winner. 
He's just a loser from America. So she already knows. What the fuck you are. So she, yeah, she already knows what the fuck you are and how to run game on you. That's why these guys don't understand. These, that's why women love you long time because they sit around and tell you how. See, they want to rub your face and tell you how good and how much they care because they know you have deep pockets or they know you're a mark. See, y'all don't understand something. Marks have been gone since the dawn of time. Mm -hmm. And if you are Mark, you are wearing the scarlet letter over top of your head saying, use me, abuse me, I ain't shit. And what you guys don't understand, again, Hansel and Gretel story, you're looking at the gingerbread house. You're right. looking at the cotton candy. You're looking at all the beautiful, yummy chocolates and uh, gummy bears and all that other stuff. But you ain't looking at the woman that's looking at your bank account and your pockets. You don't even see that she's already got her claws in you because as soon as a woman gives you, Rady, a drop of attention, not mm -hmm. even pussy, a drop of attention, just like the stripper, you're going to be hooked in on that woman mm -hmm. because you're going to feel that she really cares about you. Right. And the other guy and the other guy, guys. And you know what's funny? Notice how these guys, they got with these women and wiped them up quickly. But then when we tell motherfuckers to vet women, man, I don't need no game. You don't need no game to go overseas. You don't need no game, right? But if they were listening to niggas who understand game, they would have never gotten those situations. You see how that works? But, mm. but see, Dudes don't want to understand that shit. They think they're like, oh, well, you don't need no game overseas because these chicks just no nigga, they playing you. The chick fuck he said that he was she was fucking he was playing video games and she was trying to get him to do something crazy to her so that yeah. she could say he's abusing her so she could fucking stay in the country. What does that mean? That means she never gave a fuck about you. <laughs> and, and when you're ready for the that's, you what, ready that's for what happens. Yeah, and we got oh, you ready. I fucking freeze. Oh no, you. Oh wait, you could, Lakari. Oh, you ready to freeze? Before, yeah, okay, you, 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 back, you, back, froze. you back. You back. You back. Before we go to the uh, calls, we got a ton of uh, messages on the board that we wanted to play. We wait for Lakari to come back in, guys. Okay. Once once uh, Lakari comes back in, we'll we'll show you what everybody in the. Hold on, let me bring it back. And here you go. Once Lakari pops in, we're going to show you everybody. Uh, we'll we'll get to the um, uh, the calls, but let's go ahead and check out some of the post that people had and let's start right here here we go so he said i think it's odd if a man can only get a woman overseas it's one thing if you happen to meet someone but to solely go traveling for meeting women is lame i agree facts i agree i totally agree facts yes that's some real shit that's what says the main issue is that a lot of brothers go to the third world countries simping and mongering. A lot of these women live in favelas or shacks and villages, so they will deal with any guy from the States. It makes us look bad because uh, would these women acknowledge your presence if they had a better economic situation? Exactly. That's correct. Fact. <laughs> have, have you guys ever seen a guy that brought a woman from overseas that was a doctor or lawyer or something? Right. Now, they they ain't no doctors and lawyers. They fuck me. Here we go. Fuck me. You don't need a game overseas. The women have game. They know what you want. And they <laughs> give it to you. <laughs> oh, yeah, they definitely give it to you. They're going to give you that fucking, uh, uh, you know, that fucking shit where they talking about you, you fucking abusing them. But, hey, it is what it is. <laughs> How many dating coaches are in happy, loving, long-term relationships? Zero. Most of them pay to play. What? <laughs> what? First of all, I'm in two happy, loving relationships. What are you talking about? <laughs> what? <laughs> now, actually, Lucario, you're in three because you love yourself. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait. <laughs> it's a goddamn facts. Yeah, it's a goddamn facts, yes. He said, he said a dating coach is is was more effective. Mind you, these are the, uh, the, the comments under O'Shea's joint. So it says a dating coach is more effective in pre-social media era because most interactions with females was up close and personal. It was a lot easier to compete against a small subset of guys. That is uh, 
to compete against literally the whole world. Simply put, dating coaches are outdated. Ooh. Women are getting flown out to places and meeting guys <laughs> all walks of life. It's better to follow tenets of the manosphere and learn female behavior than it is to try and use some slick talk because these females have too many options at their disposal. Oh, <laughs> Listen, didn't we... Didn't we? Didn't the viral video of a of a fucking chick getting flown out where the nigga was fucking bitching at her? And there was a, another one. It was two that was going around. Uh, I can show you that if you like to see it. I can show you a clip of that if you want to. If you want me to pull that up, you know what I'm saying? Oh, right, right. If you want, if you want to, hold on. Let me grab that real quick because uh, here we go. Uh, I think this is it right here. Here we go. That's crazy. I just wanted to say that this is a f-ing lie. Oh wait, that's the wrong one. Oops, I'm sorry. That's not fucking. Hold on, let me get the one with the bitch is mad. She he mad as fuck at the woman. Hold on one this second. Bitch is right, though. This one right here. <laughs> this, is, this is right here. This is. It. I'm sorry, guys. Here it is. This is the one right here. here you go. Fuck. No, I'm cool with that. that no, you're lame. lame. No, I'm saying, you're really you lame. lame. No, I'm saying what you did was lame. What was lame? What you did? Because I don't want to give. Because I don't want to give up my coochie. We on the phone, facing Nigga, you're weird. you're weird. I flew you. I flew. You out. I, I don't paid give a fuck, nigga. I could have paid for my own I shit, and I food. still would not have gave you no okay. coochies. So what are you talking food, about, whatever, whatever, whatever. nigga? Y'all you're nigga, no, nigga. You Y'all lame as fuck. Is, no, you lame as fuck. I fly her out, pay for her food. Mm-hmm. She gonna take a shower, walk mm-hmm. around in my room mm-hmm. with a towel on. Mm-hmm. I can't, I can't get yep. the cheeks though. I can't. Get- he can't hit the cheeks. He couldn't hit the cheeks, and she never right. wanted to get the cheeks. You know what's funny about that guy that the comment we just read? He's talking about. He's like, well, pre-social media, it was easier because now when you got social media, then you got all this stuff, com- bro. Listen, the guys who are able to get women, social media made it easier, easier, easier. Right. Like this, because like this, real quick. If I say to you, hey, listen, you got fifty girls at this party over here. Um, mm-hmm. That you can holler at, right? But then I say to you, yo, listen, in this phone, you have 3.5 billion women you can contact. How the fuck is this harder? You see what I'm saying? Like, that don't make any sense. But hey, let's continue. He said, the passport bro do have game. Their game is just weak as hell because out of millions of women over here, they can't find one that will treat them right. Tell you everything you need to know about that man. That's a fact. That's a fact. Damn. He said, that sounded like a skit, a fake caller that they set up just to muddy the water in the discussion. <laughs> Guys, listen. Y'all are, y'all are not that important for us to even do that. For what? <laughs> like, and, and, and let, let, check this out. The title of the video was about entitled women. We weren't even talking about the, the, that topic. So the nigga called in on that show. So it's not a fake call out. I know y'all want it to be a fake call because it's cognitive dissonance. They don't want to actually believe that niggas could actually do lame shit like that. Real quick, let me just add to that point. Now, Steve Lucario, if these guys really were comfortable with the decisions that they're making in their lives. Right. Steve, would they really give a fuck what we think? Exactly. They wouldn't. They wouldn't give a fuck. They wouldn't give a fuck at all, bro. (laughs) Exactly. So, so, so it, 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 it bears to, it, you know, it bears to say that every time they look in the mirror, there's something not quite right with what they see. Yes or no? Exactly. exactly. That's, that's all I want to. That's it. Right. This one, this one says, I've been overseas plenty and I've seen so many lame dudes over there who cannot get women in America. So they try to go overseas for low hanging fruit. It doesn't matter what country a woman is in. She can spot a lame. No, <laughs> dude from a mile away. But I am in the middle of the subject. Men need to go overseas to broaden your pool of women, but at the same time, you have to have game and the ability to deal with women, period. Game carry over from America to overseas. A woman can easily tell the reason why you flew over there. They can tell the difference. If you hopped over there, the ocean because you have no game or because you are just broadening, broadening your horizons, a lot of these busters going overseas are giving the rest of, oh, what's it saying, us a bad name before we even... Yeah. Get off the fucking plane. That is a fact. And again, and again, what what he's what he basically said towards the end was the was the brand. Mm-hmm. The brand of masculinity is given a bad fucking name because of and oh, there was another thing that the girl said. She said 
coming overseas is not a bad thing, but it's your intention. Your intention. Or they say the blog talk is acting funny. I'm I'm gonna open up the um the the Skype so y'all could call in because the blog talk is acting funny. Um, I know I'd have been acting funny all week, but anyway. So this one says uh. Well, this one says dating coaches have a point about game, but discernment is key. You get finessed here in America, which happens to black men every day. Discernment is what makes you able to spot untrustworthy and disingenuous people right. and move accordingly. Yeah. Game is just about giving a woman what she wants to see <laughs> to keep her attracted. But at the no. end of the day, if the return on investment is garbage, then what's the point? Which is the point of the passport boys. Dating coaches should be happy that black men are just getting the fuck out and getting better results, but it just comes off as jealousy. If these <laughs> men don't want to deal with American women, then they don't have to. Stop trying to put these guys in a box. They're starting to sound like women the way they talk about uh, whatever. Come mm -hmm. on now. So he... <laughs> Stupid shit. I like what he said about discernment, but he then he, he just fucked it all up after that. Because he, right. he basically saying the game is about giving the woman what she wants. That's some bullshit. I mean, anyway, let's continue. Says, uh, to keep it 100, you got to have game regardless of where you are. If you don't know how to talk to a chick, it hurts your chance of getting one that alone uh, maintain a situation where her. Gotcha. I, I fucked with that. Okay. There, there, um, was a, there was real quick. There was a guy that I want to say. I want to post this. There was a guy saying dating coaches are obsolete, right? They were saying dating right. coaches are not. So let me let me show you something that Forbes. I mean, if y'all know about Forbes, they're credible. This is mm. what Forbes said about dating coaches. They don't understand that we're part of a billion dollar industry. As exactly. long as you as long as people want pussy, they're always going to need us. So mm. we're not dying out. And if you look at this right here, it shows that the percentages are going up as mm -hmm. far as in the dating coaching industry. So we're right. not going away because just because the women are going online, you guys still the need learn how to communicate. And that's why y'all find us. And here's the last thing I want to say is that we get a new batch of guys every year. As mm -hmm. soon as they graduate high school, we get a new batch of guys every year. So right. how the fuck are we obsolete? Right. How the fuck <laughs> He's stupid. We make, over, we make six fucking salaries over here. Exactly. Exactly. We're, we're obsolete to them because they're finding happiness and and the hap, you know they have uh they're finding <laughs> happiness ever after in overseas. Oh, so uh, Lewis, like, wait, wait, Lewis, Lewis, you better shut your bitch ass up, motherfucker. You can't be talking like that in this motherfucker. This your last warning, bitch. Say that shit again. Matter of fact, get your fucking ass out here. You're gone, <laughs> bitch. You don't talk <laughs> like that. He ain't. You ain't black. <laughs> so wait, what, we got any, any more of the joints, right? You got a few more. We're good for the lines. We're good for the lines whenever you're ready. Lines okay. Because oh. no, because what I wanted to say too is because I remember one of the the, the comments. Um, oh, you guys, I'll change the number. Change, yeah, you guys, you guys change the number. Six four six four eight one three nine zero one. I got you right here. You go. yeah, so it's right here, guys. Here. So okay. what I want to say is this: I saw a comment also where a dude was saying, and I've seen this come up a lot of times. They're like, oh. You dating coaches are, are just mad at the passport guys because they're you know they're fucking up your money. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, nigga, what? I'm like, nigga, what? Listen, listen. First of all, mad at who? Right, exactly. I, nigga, nigga, I pity the fool. I ain't mad at nobody. I pity the fool. Right. Now also you gotta understand this. How the fuck is the passport niggas or the guys going overseas fucking up our money when hold on? Hold on, we ain't ready for y'all yet. Give me, give me two seconds. Two seconds. I want to say that for you. Yeah. Two seconds. How are the passport niggas fucking up the money when the passport niggas is the client? You understand what I'm saying? The passport nigga is the client, meaning the passport nigga called into our show. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? I have clients who go overseas and they're like, hey, I'm trying to learn some game. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? But let's 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 hold on, hold on. We're gonna take some calls in a second. Listen. What's that? Let me say this to y'all guys. What y'all don't understand about game is is that the money that you giving them bitches overseas, you don't think they giving it back to us? <laughs> exactly. Well, let's take some calls because niggas is, is feeding the call in. All right, All right, uh five five nine. What's popping? Who this? What's happening, man? This is Derek, man. What's going on, brother? What's good? Eric from Cali. I wanna uh I wanna say a couple of things. Number one, um Lakari, I just learned about who you was, man. I just uh a couple of your videos came across my feed. 
Mm-hmm. I said, congratulations, man. So I'll see you talking. Huh? <laughs> yeah, we said congratulations. <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> What's okay. going on? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just learned about who you was. I'm out mm-hmm. here in Cali. You know what I mean? I'm from L.A. So <clears throat> I just turned 32 years old. You know what I mean? I've been getting bitches my whole life. So I'm not one of these niggas that's uh, about to call my <laughs> ass with some advice. But when I see your one of your videos that came across my feed, I watched it. And I said, let me see what this nigga talking about. Mm-hmm. See if this nigga really got some game. And some of the shit you were saying, I agree with. I was mm-hmm. listening to some of the shit you was talking about. I forget exactly what the video is about. But you were saying some shit, and, and, and I agree with some of the shit that you had to say. Oh, wait, mm-hmm. call her. Tell us, call her. Tell us what you don't agree about. Let's go there. What don't you agree about? Right. right. Okay, my feed, I'm watching. I got it on the phone, and I'm looking at the feed, too. Is it the one that made the statement? Is this the nigga with the gray shirt on that said what I don't agree with? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is, uh, no. okay. yeah wait, wait. Don't you agree? <clears throat> now, here, here's what's crazy. Mm-hmm. The nigga that just made that statement, I seen this nigga before, too. And I'm going to tell you something I don't agree with what you said, bro. Oh. I okay, that's fine. You made a video. You and 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 here's 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 before I even get started. Call her, call her, call her, call her, call her. Call her, call her. Let's yeah, let's stay on. You gotta get to the point, brother. You gotta get to the point. <laughs> tell us what you don't agree with. That's all we're asking. I'm gonna tell, I'm not, gonna tell, give us a story. I'm gonna tell you what I don't agree with, with what you said. What is that, sir? What is that, sir? And the nigga, the nigga made a video before saying some crazy shit talking about. Uh, hey, sir, what? Come on, what? What? Men that ain't got game, you know what I'm saying? They don't fuck with single mothers. If you don't have no, if you got game, you fuck with single mothers. No, oh, wait, 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 sir, sir, wait a second, wait, wait, sir. Let me ask you a question. Wait, wait. What does her having a kid okay. got to do? What What does her having a kid got to do with you two fucking? I didn't say that. I well, no, say I'm that. asking what you don't agree in. What don't you agree? I'm asking. I'm asking what you don't wait, wait, call her. Okay, let, let's start this over. Tell us what you don't agree with so we can get to that point because you're talking all over the place. You just shut your bitch ass mouth, I'll tell you, nigga. Nigga, 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 stop, stop. Don't do that. 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 I'm gonna give you don't do that. I'm gonna give you one more try. I'm gonna give you one more chance. I'm talking to you kindly. I'm not calling you a weak motherfucker. I'm gonna ask you to answer the fucking question. Sir, bruh, bruh, bruh. Answer the question, sir. Can you answer one more chance? One more chance. Answer the same. question. People talking at the same time. Who's talking right now? We're going to give you one answer more chance. chance. You said you don't agree. We're asking you to tell us. You're a grown ass man. We should not have to walk you like you're a kindergartner. Can you just answer the question, please? I'll tell you, nigga. I call bro, him we- Lucario. I watch his video. Bro, bro we're. Well, right, you said okay. you don't agree with something he said. We're asking you, what don't you agree with? Pull my attention to you. Clown. What don't you? Okay, we gotta let him go. We gotta let him, let him go. We gotta let him go. Get out of here, you damn nigga! Hold on, we have, we have to let him go real quick. Uh, no, no, <laughs> so, Steve, what happened was I saw a video about you, and then things are going. Bro, it's, it's crazy. It's fucking crazy. All right, two, 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 four. What's popping? Hey, how's it going, guys? Um, I just got on the man mindset around a week ago, and I actually had a question. So, um, yeah, so I had uh, put I had put my bid in with this girl at the club on Saturday, and I actually forgot that I did it. She, I gave her my, my me, I had given her my number, and she never <laughs> texted me. But randomly last night at like around twelve, she called me up, and she was like, it was on Facetime. And it was with her and her friend in bed. And, like, you know, like, obviously I kind of figure what type of time they want, but I didn't know what the course of action was to kind of, like... Wait, brother, brother, it's not hard. Brother, two women in bed late at night. What do you think should go down right there? <laughs> well, yeah, I knew it was, I think they were probably looking for an, a, a third person. Then, to then what's the, okay, then, well, then why haven't, why didn't you set that up and call us about how you fucked two women that night? Well, I didn't really know how to, how to go about it. Like, I, I, all okay. I thought, like, wait, wait, when you go to McDonald's, when you go to McDonald's, don't you order what's on the menu? What specifically you want? Yeah. What's the difference? What's the difference? Well, I didn't really like know them at all. I just like okay. I put my and it brother, I they, okay, brother, they called you two women in bed. You. Ha- are in a position they see what kind of man you are. 
They're giving you a fucking signal right now. Mm -hmm. Okay? Come over and fuck us. All we're waiting for you to do is tell us what to do. Do you remember? You know the rule of Jill Scott, don't you? Do you know the rule of Jill Scott? Yes or no? Yeah, if you can do, uh, tell me what to do. But if you can't tell me what to do, don't tell me what to do. No, you okay. can't. I say it like this. If you can tell me what to do, mm -hmm. then you can tell me what to do. But if you can't tell me what to do, you can't tell me what to do. <laughs> Damn. So are you... So you just got to tell them what to do. I'm on my way. I got to go Grab your numbers. Mm -hmm. Yo, but can we get a passport boy to call in? They're not going to call. They're not going to call. I, I promise they're, they're not going to call. They, they, will not call in. they should because, you know, they, they keep talking about they want to talk, but they, they only could talk to us here. I'm not going to go over to, I don't go over there. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> They will watch us. They'll watch us and talk about us, but they ain't got the balls to come in and, and, and talk. I'm on, I'm on some Steven Crowder shit. You, uh, uh, going overseas is lame. Change my mind. Exactly right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, that, so that's what it is. So, so caller, you get it? You got it? You got to You got to be more assertive and let them know what it is. Well, I mean, I just didn't. I don't know how to because I, I thought like just trying caller, to call her, call her, call her. Repeat after me. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Yeah, th that's it. That's it. Exactly. That's what you got to do. It. Okay. I have one more question. All right. Yeah, go ahead. All right. When putting your bid in online uh, after they, like, text you, then, whoa. Because I, I, I've been having a lot of, like. Uh, okay. If you haven't worked on your bid, just get a 30-second consultation We work on your bid because you're, you're all over the place right now. Because right, yeah. everything is the same. So just get back at us. Okay, hit buddy? Us, hit us up for the coaching, brother. All right. Yeah, hit me up. I'm doing a show later on tonight. Just call me later on tonight. I'm doing a show at uh, 8 East. I mean, 9 East. So hit me up there. Appreciate, the Appreciate the call. All right. Um, so, guys, 646-481-3901 is a number. 646-481-3901 is a number. Uh, 718, what's popping? Yo, Macario, Steve Dean, Miles. What's going on, man? What's up? Yo, what's, going what's going on? Huh? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, sir. What's yeah. going on? What's going on, brother? Yeah, I'm doing great, man. Listen, man, you know, this is this is a great conversation because, you know, this is not the first time y'all said this. Let me tell you, the reason why people go overseas is because they just don't have patience to learn games. Mm. Because understand something. Like, you know, like I know, I told you, I know a guy who went um, to Dominican Republic because, you know, he loved Dominican girls. But at the same time, you understand, he tried to tell me to, to come to Dominican Republic. I was motivated to tell him, no, you go by yourself. Right now, what happened was that he went. He went over there. Yeah, he probably got a trick, a couple of tricks there. But how? I don't know. He probably was tricking. But at the same time, guess what? I don't have to go to. I told him, listen, I don't have to go to the DR to get Dominican girls. But I can get him here. I bag. I bag a couple of them here. So if I can get every girl, hello. Yeah, yeah but you, okay. Yeah, but, yeah, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait. Hold on. Wait, wait. Hold on. Call. Wait, wait. Call, call her. Uh, wait, wait, wait a second. Why, why do you, why are you in another man's pockets? This is what, well, oh no, call. Give me a second. This well, is why I got you go to DR because you worried about another man that's trying to teach you how to be your own man. So Kenson, why the fuck do you care what on. another man is doing? Kenson, call up. So he said a, a man in an open marriage calling guys losers. So he's implying that the only way to be a, a winner is to be in a monogamous marriage, which means that you're in a situation where you're following the woman by being. The, the guy that she is controlling his sexual appetite. So now what you're saying is, is that the only way to be a winner is to be a guy who is following a woman and what she wants for his life, right? See, the reason right. why I am, as, am, am in an open marriage is because I decided that. No, right. I didn't decide that, I decided that. So come, come. a man who actually does what he does can't be a loser because that's what a man does. A man does what he wants to do. But see, Kenston, he doesn't understand shit. You feel what I'm right, saying? Right, right. And I, I love to answer this. Uh, Kenson, listen to me. Listen to me. And like I say, y'all don't understand that we are the ones that's trying to look out for you. The problem is I'm not looking in your pockets uh, as far as what you're doing. Go overseas if you want to go overseas. But I've got to warn you that you don't understand when a young man who has no game goes overseas to a woman who's fucking other guys all day, every day, these guys tend to fall in love with the woman that's fucking a lot of other guys. Right. And they 
cannot cope and handle losing that woman. So that woman then positions herself to get these guys to start giving her money. So you're not looking at the bigger picture. Get out of the forest and look at the trees. And if you this goofy nigga said alphas don't share women, you dumb fuck nigga. Let me let me me explain something to you. If you're alpha, you're fucking. That means you're fucking multiple women. That means you're sharing the women you're fucking because you're fucking a lot of women, you idiots. Like wait, 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 wait. I don't even think what the fuck y'all be talking about. <laughs> wait, wait, let me, let me ask you a question, Kinson. Wait, wait. So you 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 telling me your mother wasn't shared by other guys? Right. Are you are you telling me the woman that um took a, a spoon of your baby food and, te- and put it in her mouth after she sucked a dick and then oh. stuffed it in your mouth from oh. other Come on, Kinston. Your own mother was being shared by motherfuckers. So what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> These niggas is goofy. I can't. Like this, this is what I'm talking about. Where guys who don't understand shit are talking about shit. You oh see? my Jesus! Kinston, and again, call up. Notice he's not calling up. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's sad. Calling. It's sad. <laughs> it's no. like notice he's not calling up. But but, yeah. but anyways, guys, six four six four eight one three nine zero one is the number. What's part? I think this is a monogamous player. What's going on, fam? Oh, yes, sir. Uh, you already know this is a monogamous player. You know I donated. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, my brother. All right, what's good with you? Uh, yes, sir. Um, um, I'm glad that Miles uh, brought up the difference between, you know, being planted, right, and having love or being lovable towards people, whether that's your girlfriend or your family members or your loved ones, uh, versus actually being in love, right? And here is the reason why, like, a lot of guys that fall in love or fall in lust or these beta males and silks that, you know, in the, in the game, this is the reason why they be losing, right? Now, this same debate, right? I have a colleague that, you know, that I respect, but him and I don't see eye to eye on this particular situation because I believe what I believe, which is the game side, and he believes the simp side, right? Mm. So, uh, while he was explaining, like, man, you know, man, you know, these Western women, uh, you know, they don't act right. That's why these guys got to go out here and, and go to Brazil and fuck holes. And I was telling him, I'm like, bro, I never in my life had to travel out my city to, to smash a female. You see right. what I'm saying? Right. But well, he said this, and this is what caught my attention. He said this. He said, oh, it's not about smashing females. It's about a female stand. Right? I said, you know what? Here's the problem. Guys that understand game and that has mastery level of game understand that all women come and go. Mm-hmm. All right. women That's come a fact. And go. That's a there fact. have been a lot of women from my past that were great to me. But because my life is moving this direction and our life is moving that direction, we had to downgrade the relationship or we had to, you know, change the relationship. Best, best right. of luck to them. You feel me? Great situation. Right. But I had to let it go. You see what I'm saying? Uh, but a lot of these guys, they don't want to let these women go. And then another uh, thing that these guys do, right? See, a lot of these guys are not outside because I actually talk to women. And I've, I've dated a lot of women, and women have told me after me doing simple shit with them, oh, I never had a guy that do this for uh, with me, or, you know, I never had a guy that gave me this type of experience. I'm like, what? I'm not even doing nothing special, right? See, a lot of these guys are not outside. They mm. are on social media. Oh, well, call, call her. Call her. Call her. Call her. Call her. Call her. Here's the thing. The thing is this. A lot of, uh, is this simple? A woman is only right. going to do what you allow her to do. Right. And so how can a man blame a woman for anything when he is the foundation of how that woman is supposed to act around him? Right. Exactly. Right. That's a fact. Right. That's a fact. Right. And, and guess what? Guess what, Steve? Just to add to that scenario, right? I'm a guy that dates outside and I also utilize social media, right? So if I ever hollered at this fine IG model that every nigga want to talk about, right? And she denies me. I don't trip because I know that she don't represent every other woman that I can holler at, right? right. These guys, they don't they don't be outside. They only on Instagram. So when an IG model denies them, then they have a few of they have a puration towards women and they think that the IG model represents every other woman. But the IG model doesn't represent a woman that really fucks with you truly for you. But how are you gonna find that out if you're not outside? Right. You see what I'm saying? That's so a, a lot of these guys are just not outside, bro. And a lot of these guys don't understand that women come and go. You know how many women I done dated in my life that came and went? That's life, bro. People come and go. But when you understand that, that's when you can be lovable. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And you can stand on all 10, just like what Miles said. But when you so attached to people or whatever, then that's when you fall in love or that's when you start overcompensating yourself and overcompensating your time, whether that's a woman or a best friend or whoever it is, right? But when you just know how to love but always stand on your square, 
then you understand that people come and go in that flight. That's all I want to say, y'all. Y'all thank y'all for the opportunity. That's what's up. Appreciate the call, my brother. Thank thank you. What's up? Uh, three three two. What's gonna be three two three? What's going on? So hey, what's going on, man? First time calling, man. I just want to say, you know, y'all like y'all right. I used to be like in that like red pill rage and West Virginia, mm. all this other shit. But like Boom. Well, y'all welcome right. Home. <laughs> welcome <laughs> home, sir. Welcome home. Right. Right. Exactly. <laughs> so what so what's good with you? What's what's your question? I have a I have a question. I just want to say, you know, y'all was right, you know, and I I appreciate being in this community. That's what's up, man. Well, we, we appreciate you, brother. Just just keep, keep just keep uh keep doing what you're doing. Step up your game. You'll be good. You're yeah. very good. Go to Absolutely. And masculineidentitymembership.com. Facts. Yes. So Do guys, call the number uh 646-481-3901-646-481-3901. All right, let's go to nine 954-954. What's popping? Who this? And and lower your, your computer. 954. What's up? Hey, what's going on? My name is James. I donated. What's up? Appreciate the donation, my brother. That's what's up. That's what's up. So what's good with you? What's good with you? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I got a question, though. Go ahead. All right. Say if um you do go, like, overseas, like, if you do mm-hmm. have a, a, a passport, and you do go overseas, but you got a chick over there that's kind of, like, handling your business for you while why are you in the state? Is that a cool thing? Or no? What what business is she handling? Now, hopefully not your money. What is she handling? Uh, I got um I got pro- I got a house over there, like properties. Well so she pretty much watched the um but sir, if she meets a mouse or a Lucario, whose house do you think she's gonna be fucking in? <laughs> Wait, who? I, who, I kind of figured. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. I, knew, I knew you. I knew Steve was gonna go there. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Who, who, who would this woman be? Hold on. Who would this woman be? To you? Yeah. Who would she be to you? She just, she just one of my side chicks. So I don't even give a fuck if she, she can fuck with. She no, wants no, no, no. But this is the thing. I mean, this is the thing, though. This is the thing. Why would you be? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why would you? Wait, 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 wait. Why would you be giving a side chick such responsibility? Oh my God! Yes. Why? She's she's cool. She's cool. Okay. You know what I mean, because cool. Listen, really? wait. How long? No, call her. Call her. How long? Call her. Call her. Call her. Hold on. How long? Call her. How long did you vet her before you put her in charge of your business? <laughs> oh my god. She's not. A, she's not really in charge of my business. She's just nigga, oh, nigga, oh, nigga, man. Nigga, nigga, don't don't play games with me, my nigga. Don't play games with me. How long did you vet her before you put her in position? I've known her for like three years now. It's been three years. How long did you vet her before you put her in position? At least three years. I've known her for three years. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So you <laughs> so, so you known her for three years. That means you just put her in position the other day, like a couple of weeks ago. No, 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 no. She's been watching the house for about two years, but I've known her for three years. You see what I'm saying? Okay, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you one more fucking chance. I'm going to give you one more fucking chance. How long did you vet this bitch before you put her in position to watch your house? Two years. Two years. Fucking li- yeah! You see, that's why I don't fuck with y'all. Y'all some lying, weak-ass motherfuckers, bro. Y'all can't even be real about your own shit. But he, he still vetted her as a side chick and she said she wasn't shit. Wait. Why would you have an ancient bitch for years and then call she been the property for me for two years? Call her, but you vetted her as an ancient bitch. Call her, you vetted her as she won shit to you. Bro. You just said that to us. Yeah, you, you just said she a side yeah. bitch. She a side yeah. piece. Listen, bro. Listen, she's a side bitch. Yes, I got. I'm married. I'm married. I got a chick over here, and she's my little uh-huh. side bitch. When I go over to eighty, she watches. Wait, okay, 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 okay. So does your wife know? Does your wife know? Does your wife know? Yeah, she knows. She know I got a bitch in Haiti. She know that shit. All right, so now let me ask you this: um, this chick, right? Who's Good. who's your side chick? How did y'all meet? All right, one time I went to Haiti, and um, I have a cousin that that uh, that's over there, and basically I entered. Well, I met her through my cousin, so we went to rapping, and 
we've been cool ever since. This was like three years ago. And okay, the thing so is, I was going to say also that, um, like, when you're in Haiti, sometimes you can't really trust everybody. Because even my own, even my own oh. cousin, like, he did some foul yeah. shit, so I had to cut him off eventually. Mm. So, so, so this is not basically the only person. It, it, huh? So this is not a chick you paid for. No. It's okay. just a bitch I met. This is a bitch you met. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Got you. All right, so yeah, I, just wanted, I, just wanted, I just wanted, I just wanted, I just, yeah, I just wanted to, I just wanted to understand hey, the situation. Hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Bro, she's not really your side piece. Then she's your Haiti piece. <laughs> yeah, she's an empty piece, but she's a side piece. I got no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, bro, 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 hold on, hold on, my nigga. Don't try to diminish her because you on the phone with us. She's your girl when you go to Haiti because she's oh, handling, she's handling your ass. Yo, when I go to Haiti, yeah, I fuck with her. You feel me? She cool. No, no, but no, but it's beyond just. You see what I'm saying with these yeah, niggas? Why are you talking down on? Listen. Down on. Listen. Why would you when I'm in Haiti, that's it. Or when I'm over here, and when I'm in Haiti, damn, my, my house is straight, everything cool. I'm good. Okay, let, me let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. What is, let let me me ask you. I come back to the state. Yo, yo call it, call it. You really need to learn to like to chill, so the the people that's on the show can ask you a question, bro. Can you do that for me moving forward? All right, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. My fault. All right. Because when you when you try to qualify and explain, that's when you sound like you fucking up. So just take it easy. <laughs> all right. Now listen. All right. all right. Go ahead. Go ahead. My bad. Now, what did she do before you gave her the position of watching your crib? Like, what's her job? What? Because if, if she's, if she's if, 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 that means she's supposed to have a job, and yeah. she's a house sitter, right? So, what's what's her job? No, yeah, she was working at some restaurant. So she. So what is she? A bar, uh, waitress? What is she? Hmm. Yeah, like a waitress. Okay, so how much how much do you pay her to watch your crib? Or do you just or you let her stay there as payment? I let her stay there while I'm over here. Okay. Well, okay, so hold on. So hold on. Do you do you, least, do you at least Airbnb the rest of the, 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 the rest of the crib out and let her and, and make her clean the apartment in between the Airbnb clients? No, nah, I don't use it for Airbnb. So what do you what do you use it for? You just got a big blade up in your crib for nothing? Be running game on him. Wait, you, huh? hold on, call it. You just you so basically you went to Haiti and bought a house and you just let a random chick just lay up in your crib just because you known her for two years. You she run a game on him. She run a game on him, though, bro. She run a game on you, dog. You a sucker, man. Oh, Why would you hold, on, hold on, hold on. Let me let, hold on. Hey. Call her. Hey, call her. What did I say? Take it easy. Call her. What did I say? Call her. Call her. Call her. Calm the fuck down. No, we don't have to listen. We're the ones who are trying to give you some game, homie. Let me ask you a question. How many? Describe the house to me. How many rooms does it have? Four. Oh it's a four God. bedroom house. You need to Airbnb that fucking house and let her only stay in one fucking room. And she needs to clean the house in between the Airbnbs so you can make some fucking money. Because and cook for the motherfuckers. And what cook. What are you doing? And, and yeah, and cook for the motherfuckers. Okay, call her. Call her. Listen to me. This is how you being a stuck on this. Like, mouth and screen. You should have to that bitch. Hey, call me. Shut the fuck up, dog. God damn it. When I raise my hand, shut your ass up. We don't want to hear what the fuck you got to say because you already say it's a weak shit. Shut the fuck up and listen. Look, man, like Miles is telling you, cupcake ass, you get that bitch to set up those other three rooms. You get her to clean, cook, and do fucking laundry and laundry and send the money. What is so fucking funny? Why do you, see, this is why you ain't got no game. She she got her whole fucking family in your fucking house right now, and you don't even know it, nigga. And that's why you weak as fuck. <laughs> oh, uh, man. I don't think so. All right, man. Well, call it. Listen, man. You can take the game and leave it. It's all good. All right. All right. All right. But I, I, only hear, I only hear the car you can you? No, I agree with both what Steve and Miles are saying. No, no, wait, wait, wait. no, no, so wait, wait, so caller, you, you, so you call us. To, you called, and your question was, is it okay to have a girl in another country? Look, just looking at your property. I just gave you literally a million dollars worth of game. I just gave you a whole business idea, my nigga. And you talking about the only nigga you trying to you trying to listen to, Right. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about with these niggas who don't know no, how to choose. Feminine. Feminine, you weak motherfucker. Just hang the fucking phone up. Hang the 
I, I just want to hear what he got to say too. You're at the loser table. Not, 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 hey, homie. Listen, 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 homie. Here's what you do. Here's what you do. Here's what you do. Buy another house. Buy another four bedroom house and let one Haitian bitch live in it. They keep buying houses and just let single Haitian bitches live in four bedroom houses. Go ahead, my nigga. That's the ticket right there. You doing great. <laughs> Dumb nigga, bro. Oh man! All right, well, call, uh, caller, we appreciate the call, my brother. Man, just uh, you got to step up your game and start utilizing, right, utilize right, the women, brother. I'm taking the heat, man. I'm taking right, the heat. All right, peace, peace out. See you. See you. Try to give the guy. Let's go to uh, nine nine eight zero nine eight zero. What's popping? What's popping, bro? My name Markel, bro. I'm from Charlotte, bro, and I just got questions. Um, I need help talking to females. Oh my well, god! Get some hold on. Hold on. How old are you? How old are you? Because you sound young as hell. We, we, I'm twenty. I'm twenty three. Okay. So, yeah. Mark, can I say something to you? Let me let me show you what game is. Okay, you're doing it all wrong. The what game teaches you is the first communication you have is to yourself, not the bitch. Mm. And you want to make it about the bitch. That's why you acting like and getting treated like one. When you learn game, you will learn to communicate with yourself first, brother. Okay? Yeah, but like, I ain't never, but, like, knew myself. Like, I ain't never really... Wait, 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 wait. If a lawyer, go, if a lawyer has to go to law school and a, and a guy that wants to be a doctor has to go to medical school, what the fuck do you think you got to get to learn game? A donkey, a rabbit, or a dating coach? <laughs> What in, oh, oh, oh my god, really? What? Oh my god, ding 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 ding. It's not that hard to figure out, brother. <laughs> okay, so, so call her. What you should do is go to <laughs> ma go to masculine identity membership.com or badboymembership.com or the man mindset.com. So, so hit up all the websites and hit us up for consultation. Yo, you know what I'm saying? Because if you get the consultation, then we can really, you know, sit down with you, talk with you, and then really get to where you need to go. You feel me? <laughs> yeah, I feel, I feel, I feel you on that. Uh, All right, back, man. All right, my brother. Send me like a, a message or something. Just hit hit us up on the back end, bro. Hit hit us up on Instagram or hit us up in the email, man. You got all, all the contacts on the go to the websites. Badboymembership.com, masculineidentitymembership.com, or the man mindset.com. All right, brother. Appreciate the call. All right, let's go to uh, four seven three. Four seven. Yeah, hello. Yes, sir. What's poppin' with this? Yo, hey. turn off, turn off. Put the shit on mute in the background, homie. Put the shit on mute. Turn it down. Turn it down. I got you. I got you. All right. So, right. You got a situation. I got three different chicks I'm talking to. Uh, two of them ain't fucking with me. One of them I knew for twelve years. Another one. Then what saying? Wait, wait. You ain't got two chicks. Then you ain't got shit. Why do you say you got two chicks if they ain't fucking with you? Well, that's what I'm trying to get at you about. That's what I'm talking about. And then one of my other chick, well, my ex, I just all right, like, all right, wait, wait, wait. If Tommy has, um, if Tommy wanted to get three apples from the store, and there was only one apple in the store, does he have three apples or one? Wait, say that again. I need you. My bad. Okay. If Tommy wanted three apples, and he goes to the store, and there's only one apple he can buy. How many apples does Tommy have? He ain't got no apple because he ain't bought shit. Hey, sir, sir, he bought one apple. He bought, <laughs> oh, okay. he he bought, bought got one apple then. Right, okay. so, you got, so you got one woman. That's what he's saying. Don't say you got three. No, one. I ain't got, no, no, that's no, 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 what I'm saying. I got no woman at this point. Shit, none of these motherfuckers ain't working right. I don't know what they're doing. No, you're not working right. Work. Right. You're not working right. They're working fine. You're not working right. Why do y'all guys blame women for the weak shit that y'all do? So wait, so Carla, what happened? What happened, Carla? Give us the story real quick. Go ahead. All right. So I just broke up with my ex. I just after I started paying, flew her out the country to DR to get her body done and bought her a house. I just uh, had congratulations. Good job. Man. Yeah, I know. Left this shit. Yeah. <laughs> I salute you. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. But I walked, I, I walked away, so I, I'm doing something right. Um, I guess. Uh, the other two, I knew her for 12 years. 
uh, the other one I knew for about two years, and the last one, she just disrespectful as fuck. So no, no, no. you getting ready to cry, nigga. Tell me you're not getting ready to cry. Tell me you're not getting ready to cry, homie. Tell me you're not getting emotional. I hate, bro. No. Wait, wait, Miles, 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 I hear it. Wait. I can't even do shit right here. And you know that, man. <laughs> so, brother. <laughs> wait, wait, call her. How long, how, long, how long you been with your girl for? How long you been together? How long you been together? It was six years. Six years. Okay. So now, uh, when did y'all break up? When did y'all break up? It, uh, I think around March. March of this year? Yeah. Okay. So why, why, are, we, why are you talking about her? Why are you worried about her now? He's from the DR, though. He he, so, he got he got finessed huh? by a foreign chick. <laughs> no, no, no. She from here, bro. Oh, so I thought he, you from the said, DR, though. He said he went. She he took her there to get a, a butt lift or some shit. Oh, oh you. you I, yeah, I got a BBL <laughs> over there. Right. Yeah, okay. So, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. When, when, wait. When did you get? When did she get the BBL? <laughs> uh, when I went uh in July last year. Okay, so oh my, now, so now, on my birthday too. Okay, oh so now, birthday. so now, so now attention from other niggas and left. That's, that's what I was about to say. It seemed yeah. like as soon as she got the BBL, she got attention from other dudes, and then she left you. Is that what happened? Well, she always had attention. She was a stripper. No, but this is what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, when she got the BBL, though, she was getting more attention, right? Oh yeah, yeah, of course. All right, and then that's why she left. Correct. Wait, wait, hold on, call her. Yes. Call her, call her, call her. Listen, listen, call her. How long? Did, how long? Call her, call her, call her. Call her. I wonder if the, can they hear me? Call her. I allowed that. Call her, call her. Listen, call her, call her. Listen. How long before before you went and got the BBL? In well, you said July, right? Yeah. How long before that did you promise her the BBL? Um. I ain't really promised her. I said, shit, let's just do it. No, no, but but when did y'all make that decision to go and do it though? How long before did you before you did it? Did you discuss it with her? About six months, I think. Yeah, yeah. exactly. She was, she was, she was, she already left you. She already left you a year and six months ago. <laughs> <laughs> she needed to stick with you. She needed to stick with you. Figure that. That's exactly why you ain't want to end. You see why? Look, motherfuckers. Listen, we already know y'all don't know how to deal with women. <laughs> we already know. Trying to lie about it don't make sense now. Right. Exactly. So when I ask you a question, I already know the answer to the question. We just need to go through it so we can understand the mistakes you made. You see, right. hold on, bring the shit back real quick, uh, Steve. Okay. <laughs> okay. Look, I, like, I really want y'all niggas to understand something, man. Bring it back, Steve, please. Bring it back. Okay, uh, wait, I'll bring this back or the woman? Which one you like? No, no, no. I, no, I really want niggas to to to, to, oh, okay, bring that back. Okay. Okay. to see me. Guys, you call you're calling in because you fucked up. Mm -hmm. We're not see, we it sound it seems like we're making fun of you because this is a show and we're trying to entertain people. But what you're going through is a serious problem as a result of your fucked up decision making based on a lack of game. Right. So when I ask you a fucking question and you t and I said, how long did you promise her before you actually did it? You over there talking about, oh, well, I ain't promise her. We right. just we just going to do it. No, nigga. The, the, the fact is, is that time is a factor. You're trying to figure out why she stayed with you for a certain amount of time. And then all of a sudden now she's not with you. I'm trying to give you the fucking information, but you're trying to lie to save your ego. Listen, when you call up, throw your ego out the window because you already fucked up. Mm hmm. Bitch took you. I didn't fuck up, Miles. <laughs> I didn't fuck up, Miles. The don't be mad at me. The bitch took your ego with her when she left. So you don't need that no more. Now it's time for you to be humble and just ask for help and stop lying. Mm -hmm. the but Miles, I got three job, women. Man. But Miles, I got three women, man. You gotta understand, dog. I got three women, dog. You remember the apples? I got one apple, but I really got three women, Miles. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yo, y'all niggas are the worst. <laughs> so, Carla, I have a, a very important question, Carla. Please, can, can we please? I just really want to know. Why are we talking about your ex and the other two women who don't want to fuck with you? Why are we talking about them? Because I'm sick of 
still talking to the other two, but oh, Jesus. no, 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 wait, 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 stop, stop, over, stop. You just huh? said they not fucking with you. You just said they wasn't talking to you. So how are you talking to them? Well, the, the first thing you said was they wasn't fucking with you, bro. Is what I'm saying. They not what? I say what I mean. They not fucking with me. Is they not fucking? That's what. I'm oh, saying. so you're you're spending a bunch of time with with them, not fucking. So you what are you exactly. what, y'all going out on dates and shit? No, I ain't even I ain't even been around them, man. I just been working on. So then, so like then, what are you doing months. with them? So what are you doing with yeah, them? What are you doing with them? Shit, just just talking on the phone? the phone. On the phone. On the phone. That's it. About what? When? Hold on. When was the last time you spoke to you spoke to them on the phone? I just talked to one on the day saying I was gonna come in town because I'm a truck driver. So, um, Carla, how old are you? How old are you? How old are you, Carla? Carla, how old are you? You gotta be fifteen. Thirty-four. Oh shit! You mean twenty-eight dog years? Are you fucking kidding me, bro? I'm. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So wait, hold on, hold on. So, so you're talking on the phone with these women about how long are you on the phone uh, usually with them? <laughs> yeah, it's a long time, bro. Like how long? Uh, no. Hours, hours, uh, hours, 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 plural. Yeah. <laughs> and what are you talking about on the phone with them for hours? <laughs> Come over, give me some pussy, please. Uh, let me see. I can run it down to you. Oh, Jesus. Spirituality. Spirituality. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. Good. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Forget it. Because I don't even want to know. What I want to know is this. So, <laughs> how long you know these two women for? One of them I've known for like 12 years. Twelve years, yeah. And they not, and, and why are they not giving you no pussy? I have no fucking idea. No, you do know. <laughs> you do know. You do know why. You, you're at the loser table. You're right. You put me in the friend zone. Yeah, they put me in the friend zone. That's what. <laughs> so, why you, so why are you calling the other chick then? Wait. So you're you're a truck driver. You can't find no other bitches in all the states you've been driving your truck through. <laughs> I, I have no idea why, bro. And I've been getting motherfucking women for the longest, my damn oh, number too. But it's just a point, bro. I don't know. So I let me hold off, on. I guess because I fell in love with the motherfucking ex. Oh my goodness, nigga, say he fell in love. So with these two, these two other women, you have, you fucked them before, right? Uh, no, them two I didn't. Nigga, so you've been chilling with and talking to a woman for twelve years that you've never fucked. You know, it's a great point. Now, if he's falling in love with a bitch for 12 years, think about what these guys do when they meet no, get no, a piece no, of no, 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 that, that's the ex that I fell in love with. Nigga, you so, and other two bitches too. Bro, you need you need some coaching. You need some coaching yeah. heavy because Yo. you're, you're you're talking about your ex who left you, right? Now you're talking about two women who are not fucking you, but you're on the phone with them for hours. Yo, how, 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 look how many shows we've done and for how many years we've been doing this and we still getting calls like this, but people are trying to tell us that dating coaches are obsolete. Hey, hey, yeah, <laughs> we, we're, we're outdated. They don't, we, we, they, don't, they don't need no game. Steve, hey, call, call Steve. I'm going to give you a, yes, sir, yes, no. I already know I'm an old ass nigga and you older than me. Right. Yes, sir. And we've been doing this. We've been doing this shit for at, Lacario myself been doing this shit for at least 15 years. Right. I've been over 30. I've been doing this over 35 years. Exactly. <laughs> so, <laughs> Where? Where is the obsolete? When when it's 34-year-old truck drivers who <laughs> drive through cities full of bitches <laughs> calling us now talking mm-hmm. about they got three women never fucked two of them and they in love with the other one who ain't even talking to them. Right. Uh, uh, Paul, let me give you a manicism real quick. The power of man compels you. The power of man compels you. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, caller. Listen, this is what we gonna say, man. You need, you need to right. you need to hit us up yesterday for yeah. a coaching session, bro. Hit up, hit up myself, hit up Miles, hit up Steve. You need to get no, coaching because this up. is hit me up. Hit them up. What we'll do with you? Hit up Steve because no, 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 <laughs> you, you need it heavy, man. This is crazy. Yeah, you, but, but, we, but we appreciate the call, bro. All right, we're going we gonna to holler at you. Oh, my goodness. All right, we'll take, we'll take a few more, and we're going to get out of here. All right, let's go to uh, two, 208. 208, what's popping? Hey, what's going on, Lacario Miles? Dean, what's going on? I got a quick question. Oh. I'm from Idaho. What up? What's going on? Idaho potato. What's going oh. on? 
Hey, come on now. Come on now. Fries are good. All right. <laughs> what would you say to when you put in your bed with a woman and you want to transition from the dating app to your number? What would you say when she says that you're... Right. you're Idaho, did you, Idaho did, you do, did you do a 30-minute coaching session with me for your bid? I did, yes, sir. Okay, then get with me on the back end. We'll talk. Just send me a number. I'll talk to you, okay? Because it's, it's right in your, it's what I sent you. So I already gave you that. So we'll talk later. But Or hit me uh, later on tonight when I'm doing a live show, okay, man? All right, brother. Appreciate the call. Yes, All right. So, guys, call in. We got another probably 15 minutes, and we're going to head up out of here. Uh, 646-481-3901. 646-481-3901. Um, this, this will be our yeah. last show ever because we're obsolete. Um, so... <laughs> Right, we're, we're gone. Yeah, we're, we're yeah. We'll never, we'll never get another job again. We, <laughs> hey, hey, brother, the McDonald's man. Help you. My name is Steven. Hey, hey, Miles, fucking get those fries right. Lucario mopped that goddamn bathroom. <laughs> well, Idaho, Idaho potatoes. Listen, <laughs> obviously, obviously, all the guys that are calling in got their game. Right. Games. right. <laughs> All the, all the dudes who go overseas, they they don't need any games, so we're we're irrelevant at this point. So it's oh, gonna be where, where the passport boys at, man. Come change our minds, guys. Come on, guys. Come, come on. on. Come explain it to us, man. Let us know how profound it, it is to go and 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 feel the the new culture and how women treat you like kings over there, man. Right, Miles. Oh, oh, Miles, you stop it right now, Miles. How? <laughs> Dare you, Miles? You don't understand what we go through. Do you understand? That look, JB ain't do like you and Mr. Lucario. All you guys always do is pick on us. Fuck that. I'm going back to the manosphere where they know me better. <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> so I'm telling you, man. So guys, listen, man. Look. We don't, we don't, we don't, we didn't want to have to do shit like this, man. You know what I'm saying? But it's necessary because we need to explain to y'all and guys need to understand that they need game. See, yeah. understand, y'all don't, y'all don't hate us. Like the guys who hate us don't hate us. You understand? They, they just hate the truth. Well, because, well the car, go ahead. How, anyway, how can you hate three men that are doing everything they can to show you to find yourself? Exactly. How, how is that a bad thing when everybody else is showing you to run away from yourself exactly. by going over to another country where the women are waiting to eat your fucking ass up? So exactly. how are we the bad guys? Right. Because I'm like, if you watch this video of all the shit we've shown y'all today. You understand what I'm saying? Of people that are actually from there telling you how they're they, they have videos letting you know how they're going to finesse you. Yo, so, so, sometimes, sometimes, sometimes I feel like I almost feel as weak and as emotional as them. <laughs> yes, no, but no, because you know I feel like I feel like a I feel like a you know I slave over a hot stove trying to cook up this game. Exactly. All day I'm sweating trying to cook up this fucking game all day, and and you know and 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 I, and I come and I come into the man cave and I try to serve you, and mm. all you want to do. Is go is go overseas and fuck with another another bitch. You know, what I'm you know what I'm saying? Like I slave over a hot stove trying to give you this fucking game, and all you can say is that I'm just trying to make fun of you. Right. Like I'm, the, we're we're exposing the drugs that they give to you, the scopolamine. We're exposing the finesse. We're exposing the fact that we want you to be stronger so you can get women wherever you're at. No, Miles, you want you just want to make money, and 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 you're mad because the the passport guys are are fucking up your your thing. See, let, let me say this: if I say to you, "Hey, you know what? You need water to live," am I saying that because I'm just trying to sell you water, or am I saying it because it's the truth? You see what I'm saying? So, so if I'm telling you the truth, why the fuck are you acting like I'm just saying this shit just to say it? Just you see what I mean? It's ridiculous. ridiculous. Well, beat, beat, beat this out. This this is what this is what breaks my heart. They're all about body count, right? And why would they go overseas when her body count is triple quadruple of mm -hmm. that of a regular American woman? Fact. I mean, we're about her fucking several guys a day mm -hmm. every day every week so the body count is off their chain so 
It right. doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. All right, but call it three four seven. What's popping? Good afternoon, gentlemen. How you guys doing today? What up? What up? What's good? What's going on? So I'm I'm confused. So I wanted to know. Um, a ticket to Columbia is like about four hundred dollars. Okay. Yes, sir. You charge four thousand. Explain yes. to me as a young man why should I? Okay. Uh, All right. I'll let, let me explain. Let me give you mathematics. Okay. Let me show you. Have you ever heard of a thing called investing? Uh, yes, but proper investment. Okay. 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 Now listen to me. Okay. So what you don't understand is, okay, let's, I'm gonna use the car at 4,000. Okay. You spend $4,000 and you meet a woman who will, who will give you, let's say $2,000. And what happens if you meet five women at $2,000, which will put you at technically $20,000 minus the $4,000. So that is a $16,000 markup. So what's the problem here? Well, that means that you're Wait, wait, wait. caller, 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 caller. Even before, look, the caller. Did you see the clip? Did you see the clip? Did you see the clip that we're actually even referring to? Did you see the clip? The twenty thousand clip. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Twenty thousand. That's the number. Yeah. yeah. Right after you call Austin, I even video out. You tried to call the man gay. You tried to question his sexuality, but that's neither here or there. Wait, 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 who tried to question someone's sexuality? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> No, when you call you, you question uh, uh, sexuality in the beauty of video. Well, I mean, that's neither here nor there. I don't, I don't, well, wanna... no, 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 no. Well, I'm just trying to let's get all right, fuck all that. Let's get back to mathematics. We we'll see with your, with your surface dwelling thinking, you can't process. Oh, no, well, no, no, because you, okay, you're saying that I can go for $400 overseas versus spending $4,000 and getting a $16,000 return. You spend four hundred dollars. You're giving you're, you're giving them four four hundred dollars every time you go down there, and you're not getting any. Wait, let me get. Wait, your return is a piece of pussy. Wait, wait, your return is five minutes of fucking. And, and you're what? Under, you're under the assumption that I'm going there for, for just ask. Like, look at this. It's true because isn't a car? Aren't you Jamaican? So aren't your parents like uh, immigrants as well? Are they like were they prostitutes? Were your grandmother prostitute? Were your mama prostitute? Oh, right. you nah. wait, 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 wait. Let me answer you. Let me answer you. Let me answer you. Let me answer you. So when people are in other countries, like let's say Brazil or Jamaica or whatever, right? Everybody there isn't prostitutes. There are women who are prostitutes, but guess what? You're talking about taking four hundred dollars over to wherever you're going. Who is that four hundred dollars for? Uh, it's called Jet uh, Jet Blue Spirit Frontier. I just said I literally. He's four hundred dollars before he even gets there, Lucario. Okay, so now, so so four hundred dollars is for the plane, the plane ride. You're saying, right? Yeah. And okay. Air now, air now, air okay, air okay. Air full air stop. Air full air stop. Air full air stop. Air okay. Air now, what? Why are you going to Brazil, or wherever the fuck you going? Why are you going there? Um. It's called freedom of association. I think all Americans can exercise. No, no, no. Right. I'm asking what what is the reason? What are you going there for? Are you going there to meet somebody? You're going there for business? Uh, what, what, is the, life, what is the reason? Well, life is, life is important. Why not? You ask me why am I going? I'm asking why not. I mean, no, I'm asking. Sure. I'm asking you a direct I mean, question, we're brother. Black, we're all black men here. We're all black men. Are we not supposed to? You're old, you dog. Are you fucking 18 years old? Are you a grown man? Can you answer a fucking question? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. One of the more intelligent passport boys to call in, man. Tell one of the more intelligent, less emotional passport boys to call in. We can't talk to you because we can't talk to you. you're too easily offended, bro. You're too easily offended. Caller, 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 caller. We're asking you a simple, a simple question. Simple question. What is the reason for your trip? Uh, I want to be the next SD Bourdain. I don't know. You don't know. That's what. That's your. That's your problem. On, we're asking dog. you a question. You don't even know the answer. Bro, you're a grown man, and you don't even know why you're going over there, dog. Come on, man. You got it. You can't be this fucking stupid. Come on. Come on. Wait, 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 brother, brother, brother. Come on. Let's let's be, come on. How old, wait, wait. Let's start. Let's 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 go kindergarten. How old are you, dog? Can't wait. Can you just tell us how old you are so we can get a gauge of how fucking stupid you sound? How old are you, sir? I'm old enough. <laughs> see, you see how you can answer a question? Nigga, I'm going to give you some advice before we let you go. Instead of taking $400 to go overseas, take $400 and get a new phone. Goodbye. Yeah. Thank you. Fuck off. Um, nigga, what, what are we, you see, do you guys, you see what you're talking about? You see how it's a direct question. And he can't answer it. 
Right. We asked him a direct question. We said, what are you going there for? Well, I don't know. Maybe I could do this. How old are you? I'm old enough. Well, yeah, I don't understand. It's, it's, well, listen, it's funny how you invest in college to get a job to make money. You guys, if he's an investor, why wouldn't you return your investment on men that have shown you proof that they can get women easily? We showed you that on the Sunday show when that woman called in. Each one of us took her exactly where we wanted her to go. Right. We all showing you game and showing you what we can do. So, and, and this is what you want. You, 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 want know what the is? you know what the problem is? Is that, see, what a lot of these guys they don't believe in investing in themselves. They believe investing in the bitch. So exactly. this is why they will take the money and go pay the bitch for the pussy instead right. of investing themselves in themselves to become the guy that is a pussy magnet. You see right. what I'm saying? So they don't have to fucking go overseas. You see what I mean? But they don't. They don't think about it like that. They think about it like, oh well, oh. I'm gonna go over here and do this and do that because these dudes they don't understand investment in themselves. You see what I'm saying? That and that's why they're fucking up. But hey, you know, it is what it is. Dudes can do what they want. But see, the problem is, is that you do those things and then you get mad at niggas that's trying to teach other men how to actually get it how they live. You see what I'm saying? Instead of getting it where you're trying to go somewhere else to try to beg for some pussy and giving a bitch money just so she could fuck you. Right. You see what I'm saying? Because you got to think about this. Understand all of the things that you're putting yourself through just to get vagina. When vagina is right in your backyard. Mm. So like that doesn't even make any sense. But of course, I'm gonna be like, well, the vagina in my backyard is not cooperating. You know, it's like stupid shit. <laughs> 372, what's popping? 372. 372. Yo, get, get him off. Get him off. He's fucking around. He's fucking, he fucking, you know, these niggas is. And, and this is what I'm saying. We're saying, hey, guys, call in. You know what I mean? Like, call in. We, we got another, like, five or ten minutes, and we go ahead up out of here, people. So call in. Call in number is 646-481-3901. 646-481-3901 is the number. Hey, so did, guys, call in. Did anyone see Bullet Train? Nah, yes. I yeah, it was, it. Yes, I saw that shit. Yeah. Was it, was, it, was it good? Oh, yeah. No, no, no. But, hey, hey, you need to go see that one on Netflix. I want to pull that shit up. Uh, no, Carter, Bullet Train was Carter. Good. I watched Carter last night. That was fire. Hey, Carter was fire. Hey, the, the, the cinematic. I never seen cinematics and and, and that uh, blow my fucking mind. But like, right. all right. oh, it's Sandman. Make sure y'all check out Sandman. That's pretty fucking tight too. Yeah, I gotta check that shit out too. That's crazy. That's yeah, yeah. Oh, goodness, man. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of crazy. I wanted. I wanted to. Do, uh, I didn't know it was really good interesting. Though. Yeah, no, it's pretty interesting how how everything turns out. But it's pretty interesting. And okay. you know what? That, that the black dude that was on a uh, fucking um Atlanta. Yeah, how, how is it they they be like, hey, what's up, dog? And then on the bullet chain, like, hey, oh, governor, no, bro, we fight that. That motherfucker's from England and shit. I even know, you know, I'm like, what the fuck? So, yeah, <laughs> niggas is good actors. You know what I'm saying? Niggas is good actors, man. Oh yeah. my goodness, but yeah, man. I mean, listen, man, guys, we we just want y'all to understand that game is very very important. And as you can see, we're not sitting here paying these motherfuckers to call up. You understand no. what I'm saying? Like right. every show we do different shows and every show we got people calling up with issues. You understand well, what I'm saying? Well, the thing is what people don't understand is, is that they don't understand how the mind actually works. It's not them. That's really mad. It's their self importance. Right. Well, let me see who this is real quick. All right. Uh, five, six, one, five, six, one. What's popping? Who this? Hey, hey, what's up guys? How you doing, man? Chilling, chilling. So, <laughs> I had to call, bro. I had to call because uh, I was uh, I was one of them, you know. I was one of them, and uh, bro, I used to you. I used to go to Colombia, mm -hmm. like that. And uh, oh wait, wait, call away, call away. Before you say anything, can you please tell everybody that we didn't ask you, pay you, or beg you to call? Please, can you say that real quick before you finish? No. Tell no, them, please. Not at all. Okay. Okay. Because you, they're gonna say we we paid you to do this, but go ahead, brother. Go ahead, continue, man. This is the thing, bro. Um. So I speak Spanish. I have no problem speaking Spanish. So every time I go there, I mean, I can't get uh, stuff popping. But these guys, they don't speak a lack of Spanish, even when they go to Thailand and stuff like that. Mm. Um, so they're out there getting finessed, man. Like these chicks have told me, man. Mm. They are get, they're getting finessed. They're trying to uh, get as much uh, money as you want, give you the boyfriend treatment and shit. So mm -hmm. they, 
give you a sweet talk and you fall for the dreams and all that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you feel me? It's just, it's just stupid, man. Like I'm telling well, you. Well, caller, it's easy, it's caller. It's easier for someone to fall in love who's looking for love, and that's the problem. A lot of these guys, because they don't have any game or work on themselves, they're marked. So when a woman just touches, it just it could be a drop of attention. They're gonna fall in love with that feeling, so they're gonna automatically be suckered yeah. in. Right, right. That's it's right, toxic, man. I'm telling you, even 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 these dudes that think about, um, let me say, you know, uh, the password dudes. Uh, I was one of them because uh, I was starved for pussy, you know, in my mind I thought, man, no chick was going to want me, stuff like that. So, But I, I, I've been watching you guys for two years now, and then I started applying some of the things I've seen in you. So I, I look up to you guys th that way because the other day I was in the supermarket right here in the, in the States. I saw this, this woman that I, she looked good. So I just went out with some dumb excuse just to talk to her, man, and it worked. I've done it like a couple times already. Mm -hmm. Well, that's she was. Uh, I think she was picking up some. Uh, she was in the aisle and stuff. She was picking up. So I just went to her. Hey, uh, uh, stop because you're not, you're not good. You know. So here's my business card. So I, I I popped out one of those business cards. I I print out a few of them. So if they don't call, that's all right, man. It doesn't hurt your ego. You know, just keep it moving. Right. Like it's, right. Gonna, it's gonna. Bro, and let me tell you something else. There's a lot of women here in the states, bro. I don't know. I'm not doing oh, that no more spending oh. spending thousands of dollars going overseas, man. That's what's up. Well, listen, man, you know, the thing is this, man, you know, I I, I appreciate that you're checking out our stuff, um, but I don't want you to look up to us. I want you to look up to yourself. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, don't, yes. don't, you know what I mean? Like, we're here, we're, here, we're definitely here to help you, but, you know, you, you're you're the one who approached the girl. You're the one who talked to the girl. You're the one who did what you did. So give your right. give yourself all the credit. You feel what I'm saying? And that's and the they call them. <laughs> Caller, I want to say this. You know what's you know what, call you know, huh? Caller, you know what the most important thing about your call today, sir? You know what the most important thing is to me? Is that you got out of that fucking cult called the passport boys and started looking to your own fucking name. Mm. That's what's important to me. So it's, I congratulate you for getting out of that stupid ass cult and learning that you can be a single minded man and, and win. Congratulations. Yeah. Exactly, brother. Well, uh, before I go, before I go, uh, they, they won't believe this, but uh, I had this chick about, I don't know, maybe a month ago. Mm -hmm. Bro, this chick bought me a t uh, television. and she, uh, she bought me the, the new Xbox that came out and shit. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what I did, but, uh, you know, just, just pulling it, you know? Mm -hmm. See? Well, but, Carl, you, so, Carl, you got his number? Carl, you have his number? Let me take a picture of the number. Hold hey, on. I'm going to take a picture of the number. Call right call right. Oh, give me a number from one. Uh, give me a number from one to a thousand. Uh, one to a thousand. Yeah, give me a um, quarter. Give me a number between one and a thousand. Seventy-seven. Okay, is that your final offer? Seventy-seven. Mm, yeah, this is it's, 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 it's a big range, man. <laughs> well, go, go higher. Go higher. Go higher. So, uh, go uh, to a thousand. You said um about forty-nine. Okay. How much? And not 49, you're going lower. <laughs> go higher. Go higher. Go, 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 go closer higher. to a thousand. Go closer to a thousand. <laughs> Fuck go you, Lacar. Uh, <laughs> how much? Nine, 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 seven. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, you bitch. <laughs> All right, Carl, I got to own it. Call her. Lacario has your number. I want you to email me. And to show you how much we appreciate you, I'm gonna give you a thousand dollars worth of free uh man mindset stuff, okay, caller? That's what's up. <laughs> just send me an email with your number because he's got your number, but I was gonna give you 70 70 fucking dollars and this fucking bitch man, <laughs> God damn it, man. can't you cut can't you That's control this motherfucker? I told you. He says 77, God damn it. No, he actually he cares about these motherfuckers. Lucario is about the God damn it. Cares, oh. like <laughs> Mouse. 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 Stop it. He has said 77. Lucario cake ass said higher. And I was fine with that. He was saying closer to a thousand. I'm like this motherfucker. But all right, we'll honor that shit, brother. Is the card your number? Send it and put that in the subject, and I'm gonna send you a thousand dollars worth of free stuff. Uh, courtesy of the man mindset. All right, man. 
Uh, no fucking way, man. That's just awesome, man. That's what's up, man. We appreciate the call, you're my awesome. brother. Yeah, that's, you're awesome. Man. That's what's up, man. Oh mm-hmm. man, Steve, I'm sorry. I know I know that dating coaches, we need the money, so I, I apologize. We're, almost yeah, we're, obsolete. We're, we're, we're obsolete, so we need the money. Uh 210, yeah. what's popping? Who this? Yo, K Zagan, man. <laughs> oh shit, K Zagan. Oh, oh, yeah. Yes, we're we gonna go definitely end the show with this. That's what we talk about. Let's go to so I got I got prior engagement. But this is what I want to say, and um you know, my biggest issue with, with the passport bros is how disingenuous they are about what's really going on. Mm-hmm. Um, mm. they're, they're trying to make it seem like they literally get on a plane, step on a tarmac, and bitches are throwing rose petals at their feet. <laughs> right. Exactly. And, 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 my, th- and my thing is, that's, that's not what's going on. Mm. And, and as Steve said, and I said it before, so many one of these niggas that's dating a woman that don't need any money. Exactly. Exactly. Because I guarantee you, and and, and I, I watched the beginning where the one chick from the Philippines said, we're desperate. Mm-hmm. Right. Bro, a, a, a desperate motherfucker will chew their hand off to eat. You know what I'm saying? So, mm, right. if you're with a desperate chick, she'll do anything to get out of poverty. Exactly. Meaning, she'll, she'll do whatever she got. She'll be nice to you sweet to you. She'll do whatever she got to do. Mm-hmm. And, and and God say, oh, well, those women are raised different so they're, they come at you different. Okay. That's that's part of the story. The other part of the story, and this is what a lot of guys got to realize that these passport bros aren't, aren't really saying. What was really going on, and somebody touched on it earlier, I don't recall who it was, but what's happening is in America, Women aren't impressed with your money no more. Exactly. They make just money, mm-hmm. much money as you. <clears throat> so what happens is when these niggas come with that money, oh, I'm going to take you out and, and spend $50 on you. She's like, nigga, I could spend $150 on myself. You ain't saying nothing. Right. So what happens is guys are expecting that when they spend money on women, they're expecting to get some type of uh, reciprocal gratitude mm-hmm. and a woman to be nice to them. She ain't got to be nice to you because she know you a bitch. Right, and she don't need you for your money. Mm-hmm. But in in those other countries where they, when they exchange their money and that and that dollar gets stretched further, that, like that one nigga Austin Holloman, he said it. The amount of money he will spend over here in two weeks, he can stay over there for a month. Exactly, and chill. So the money is stretched further, meaning they can trick for longer. Mm. Okay? That's, that's all that means. And 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 the caller, the dude that spoke Spanish, he said it boyfriend treatment right it ain't them niggas ain't going over there just for pussy these niggas is attention starved these niggas worse than a bitch because mm. these niggas they're, they're 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 craving for female um, attention and affection is so strong that these niggas is willing to fly over there to have a docile dainty bitch treat them like they care right and that's what they paying for <laughs> that's a fact that's a fucking fact. They sitting there paying for the fucking girlfriend experience. They're paying a bitch to pretend that she like them. That's what. That's basically what they do. <laughs> Bro, you, you know, you know, it's, so, it's funny. It's funny you said that because also in the beginning when, when them two chicks was talking and they were talking about pretty woman, how they use that as their basis to, to game dudes. That's exactly what happened in Pretty Woman. Richard Gere played old girl. Hey, hey, let me pay you just to hang around me. Right. So, so a lot of these niggas, see, short term chick tricking is just paying for some pussy and that's it. These niggas is long term tricking. Mm. They paying for the pussy for a week or two at a time. Mm, that's a fact. <laughs> so, 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 what these niggas is doing, you know what I'm saying? And, that's, and to me, if that's what you want to do, do that. And, and shout out to all my passport bros that actually got businesses over there mm. and, and y'all are over there for more than just pussy. Y'all just happen to run into beautiful bitches. Right. But for all y'all niggas going over there and your main motivation is pussy, y'all should be ashamed of yourselves. Mm. I'm going to ask one of y'all. And, 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 and do us a favor. Don't have no sons. Please. <laughs> <laughs> don't ever have sons. Oh! Exactly. They should. They should all have daughters, so their daughters could grow up and be in the family business. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. 
Yeah. But anyway, all right, man. Steve, uh, L. Miles, my comrades, man. I just had to call yeah. everybody quick, man. That's the subject, you, brother. Thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Put the nail in the coffin. We're going to holler at you. Yes, yeah, great. Call, <laughs> man. All right. That's pretty much it, guys. Phone lines are down. About to cut right. it off. We had, we had the two hour mark. You feel what I'm saying? Man. Perfect. So, uh, let's we all want to wrap up and tell what y'all got going on and, and say what y'all final thoughts, man. What's hey, going on? Hey, listen, man. Final thought is, guys, you, you wouldn't be so offended by what we're saying if you really were comfortable with going overseas for bitches, bro. Right. You know exactly. what I'm there, there's something there's something that that's not quite right in your in your heart of hearts. And, and you know, that you know that, you know, forget all the, forget all the other shit. Forget all the laughing and joking and shit. Y'all know what we're talking about is true. You understand? Learn to tie your shoes. Learn to ride a bike. Learn to see America is like an America is like an obstacle course, right? America is like New York. If you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. You understand? What we're trying to do is we're trying to give you a message of character, strength, situational awareness so you don't get finessed when you go to these other countries. So you're able to get what you want in America and wherever you go. That's all we're trying to say, man. And for that reason, go to MasculineIdentityMembership.com. Mm -hmm. I finally got the website up. So that 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 crazy ass um, link, you ain't got to do that. Just go to MasculineIdentityMembership.com and, you know, it's right there. Get on it, man. Uh, it's all about identity. It's all about character. And it's all about being able to get what you want out of this life based on who you are not based on on what's going on out here in this world all right so this is your boy miles cunningham i appreciate it yeah i like to say for everybody i appreciate miles lucario for having me on i want to shout out to everybody in the chat room shout out to those some of y'all that called in uh, i just want to say as far as the show goes is that again i asked y'all guys that hate us how can you hate somebody that's trying to show you how to find yourself i mean versus somebody trying to tell you to find or go away from your name Go away from your bloodline. Go away from your legacy. Go away from everything that your ancestors came here under the boat for all you black men. Mm -hmm. And y'all just wasting this away. So it's just something y'all to think about because we're not the bad guys. It's just that it's a hard shift when all your life you thought you're not good enough, but you're just you are good enough. You just need to find someone who can show you how to be good enough. But right. I want to say, that, but for everybody listening, uh, we're gonna go live at nine o'clock east. Number one. Number two, I say for you guys, we got this new interactive thing on the Man Mindset YouTube. It's an interactive YouTube. So when you go there, uh, it's a Man Mindset Interactive. Go there, and it'll do the text messaging after the bid. So after the, the video's over, you're going to have four choices to go through different doors and different scenarios. And last but not least, for everybody else, with birthday month, all discounts on birthday package or get the $99 birthday package that have over 50 MP3s. But hey, and last <laughs> thing I want to say is fuck Lucario because he's <laughs> he's out of 1033 dollars. $30, it's a $933 hit I took because that motherfucker, you see that motherfucker? He, yes. he that's hey, right there. Guys, I love you guys. Now, hey, yeah, he loves you guys. <laughs> this, is the last, this is the last thing I'll say. Now, I, I say this, man, you know, I know. <laughs> we sound like we coming at y'all hard and pause um you know and, and but understand this like miles was saying earlier it's really it's true truthfully truthfully because we actually love you guys and what we mean is is that all the passport bros i know y'all don't like the shit we be saying and all this other stuff but i really want y'all niggas to be safe i'm not gonna lie like i don't i don't want to i actually don't want to hear anything so if you, so this is the thing fuck fuck what we're saying if you want to go travel go do your thing you're a man do whatever you want but yes. please, please be fucking safe out there. Be careful. You know thing and and it, and if you're if you're talking about going overseas, please at least tell your audience to also be safe because that's what I'm not seeing a lot of from from these videos. Maybe I just didn't see it, but I haven't seen a lot of it where guys are actually explaining like, "Hey, listen, take these precautions just in case this type of shit can go down." You see what I'm yeah. saying? And yes. understand that the reason why we're bringing you guys the game is because we want you guys to understand that. We know that y'all are having issues with women out here in America. We know that y'all are having fucking problems and all this other stuff. We understand this. That's why we're trying to teach you the game. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Now, I understand that some of y'all are like, well, I don't feel like doing all of that shit and all of that. Now, that's your choice. But understand that there's a reason why we're saying this stuff. Because guess what? All the issues you're having with these women, we're not having these issues. You understand what I'm saying? The guys that we coach... They're not having these issues. Like the guys that are really on the programs and getting coaching, they're actually getting success. They're getting women around their way, around their block, in their school, wherever, and they're doing their thing. 
So what we're saying is, is that we understand that those things happen, but understand that the reason why they're happening like that is a direct reflection of the man that you are right now. Mm. You see what I'm saying? You don't have to point the finger at the woman. Understand that we're trying to, we're not sitting here just trying to shit on, oh, you guys are always blaming Nona. We're not blaming men. We're letting men know that you have to be the man. You understand what I'm saying? And once you're the man, that's when shit's going to, you know, go the way you want it to go. You feel what I'm saying? I just, just want to say one more thing. It was weird. And for all you guys out there that think that we're obsolete, it's odd that you go, you wake up the next morning, you clock in at somebody's job. Right. All three, all three of us, we we work for ourselves. Right. Exactly. <laughs> so we get up when the fuck we want to get up and go to bed when we want to go to bed. Right. So please understand, right. as long as there's fucking, there are kids who are going to graduate every year, right. and we're going to get a new batch of guys every fucking year until people stop fucking. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kari, get back, to, get back to the plug. You ain't get the plug. Oh yeah. Okay, so plug. Just look. Make sure, guys, go to badboymembership.com. We get 45 through 90 minute audio and video daily advice tutorial every month. Make sure you also go to masculineidentitymembership.com and also go to the manmindset.com. Hit us all up so we can uh, get this shit cracking. You feel what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So, we, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I'm all good. right, guys. We out this joint, man.